Welcome to the Fantasy Audiobook. God Rewarding System. MIA Beast Master. Chapter 41. Zhang Xin took the Operation Road Map given by Su Ju and studied it carefully, wanting to see what the principle of this martial skill was. Su Ju didn't care that much. What Zhang Xin wanted was not the complete version of the Shadowless Foot, but only the twelve-hole version. For Su Ju, the more people learn, the more rewards he will get, and there is no hidden thought. Although the reward for this task is now lower, it still exists. No matter how small an ant is, it is still meat. Zhang Xin spent the whole day studying the twelve-hole shadowless feet. Su Ju and others took free training courses all day long. Others would find such a course boring, but Su Ju and the others were already used to it. Zhang Xin took the time to take a look at the training ground and found that except for a few people in the class, most of them were just fishing. As for Su Ju and others later, they trained extremely hard, and there was no chance that they would become lazy in the absence of the teacher. Looking at Su Ju and others, Zhang Xin couldn't help but nodded with satisfaction. These little guys are really good, and their consciousness is much higher than others. Zhang Xin ignored these people. Whether their consciousness was high or low, it was the path they chose. They would not be able to blame anyone else in the future. After school ended at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Chen Ran asked, Master, are you still going to challenge today? Su Ju shook his head and said, I'm not going. There are many experts here. I'm also worried about the boat capsizing. You can train on your own. I have something to deal with. Oh, after hearing that Su Ju had stopped challenging, Chen Ran and others did not mention the matter again. He followed the training plan given by Su Ju and continued the step-by-step -step training. Su Ju walked out of the school, took a bus here, and headed towards the largest antique market in the imperial capital. Since he had already inquired about the specific location of the antique market, Su Ju did not take the wrong path. Walking on the street of the antique market, Su Ju didn't expect it to be so big. The whole street is selling either pet eggs or various treasures. Su Ju came here today just to try his luck. What if he could catch something? His purpose was very clear, which was to pet the beast eggs. He found a random shop and walked in. Welcome, how can I help you? As soon as Su Ju entered, a waiter came up and asked. After taking a look at the waiter, Su Ju said, I want to bet on eggs and try my luck. Okay sir, please come with me. The waiter is not surprised to see such guests, most of the people who come here have this idea. Follow the waiter Su Ju to a room filled with pet eggs. The shelves are filled with various kinds of pet eggs. All pet egg guests here can start and observe, and there is no need to be cautious. Even if it is an F-level pet beast egg, it cannot be broken if it is dropped on the ground. Besides, even if it is broken here, you will just lose money. Since it is an egg bet, the price is not particularly expensive. After learning the rules from the waiter, Suju began to look at them carefully. He had no experience in egg betting, so he just picked up a pet animal egg and started observing it. At this moment, the voice of the God's reward system sounded in his ears. After system detection, this is a D-class fire-breathing rabbit's pet egg. Host contract is not recommended. Um, hearing the sound of the system, Su Ju's eyes couldn't help flashing with light. He didn't expect such benefits. Others come here just to try their luck, but I have a plug-in to help me identify it. Su Ju put down the pet egg in his hand and picked up another pet egg again. After system detection, this is a D-level 3-tailed cow's pet egg. Host contract is not recommended. After system detection, this is a pet egg of a D-level green-scaled snake. Host contract is not recommended. A series of notification sounds made Su Ju sigh. This was really like finding a needle in a haystack. A full hour passed, and the best pet beast I encountered was nothing more than the pet egg of a B-level two-headed snake. After Su Ju marked this pet egg, he continued to check other pet eggs. There were so many pet eggs here that Su Ju felt like he couldn't finish them all in one day. After appraising it for a while, Su Ju took over the pet egg of a B-level two-headed snake. I want this. Okay, sir. The price of this pet egg is 10 W. After Su Ju came to the cashier and paid, he took the pet egg and asked, you recycle pet animals here, right? The waiter nodded and said, yes sir, we will determine the recycling price based on the grade of the pet beast. 
Su Ju nodded and poured a drop of his own blood. If you want to open the pet egg here, dripping blood is the only way. However, a drop of blood does not mean that the beast must be contracted, it can also be sold. Shops like this will recycle these pet beasts. Although others cannot directly contract with them, these pet beasts are not without their uses. Low-level pet beasts will be made into food for other pet beasts, and high-level pet beasts will be used as finished pet beasts for contract. Although the loyalty of this contract method will not be too high, there are still many ways to increase loyalty in the world of beast control. There are also many people who are willing to contract such a pet beast. After all, the qualifications of the finished pet beast can be directly seen. As a drop of Su Ju's blood dripped, the pet egg soon cracked open, and two small heads protruded from the inside. Su Ju looked at the waiter and said, it should be a B-level two-headed snake. The waiter also looked shocked. He didn't expect this customer to be so lucky and get a B-level pet beast. Yes sir, this is indeed a B-level pet beast. Are you planning to sell it? Su Ju nodded and said, well, I wonder what price you will offer here. The waiter said, Sir, according to the recycling price of our store, the B-level pet beast can be given a price of 100 W. 100 W. Su Ju thought about it and felt that it was not bad. He earned 90 W in less than two hours. Well, sold. Okay sir, I'll handle the formalities for you. Not long after, Su Ju had 90 W Dragon Country coins in his card. After leaving this shop, Su Ju randomly found another one, and a waiter came to serve him as well. Su Ju looked at him and said, What prices do you have here? Sir, the normal area is 5 to 10 W, and the premium area is 10 to 100 W. Su Ju nodded and said, Go to the boutique area. Okay, sir, please come with me. Su Ju had seen such a difference in a store before, but he didn't want to continuously sell high-quality pets in one store. That was too high profile and could easily attract other people's attention, so I changed stores. Following the waiter Su Ju, he entered the so-called boutique area. There were much fewer pet eggs here than in the ordinary area, but there were also thousands of them. Su Ju picked up a pet beast egg at random, and the system automatically identified it for him. After system detection, this is a D-level 3-tailed cow's pet egg. Host contract is not recommended. Ah. Su Ju took a look at the price of this beast egg, which was a full 70 W. If anyone buys this pet egg, he will definitely lose his money and not be able to find it again. Su Ju shook his head and carefully put down the pet egg. He didn't want to be taken advantage of. The boutique area is different from the ordinary area. After an hour of identification, Su Ju encountered several B-level pet beast eggs here. After system inspection, it is found that this is an A-level violent apes pet egg. It is recommended that the host be careful about the contract. Um, Su Ju couldn't help but be stunned when he heard this. He didn't expect to encounter an A-level pet egg. After taking a look at the price of this pet egg, it was only 20 W, so I bought it immediately without thinking about it. Pack this pet egg for me, I bought it. Okay sir, the price of this pet egg is 20 W. Um. Su Ju responded, went to the cashier, and handed over the card. After swiping the card, Su Ju came to the egg opening area. Seeing someone opening eggs again, it immediately attracted the attention of many people. Su Ju casually added a drop of blood, and then the figure of the violent ape appeared in front of everyone. No, it's actually a violent ape, an A-level pet violent ape. This kid is really lucky. He's an A-level pet beast, a violent ape, with at least 500 W. Who says it's not the case? It would be great if I could drive such a violent ape. Su Ju listened to the envious voices around him and said to the waiter, what price do you charge for recycling? Hearing that Su Ju was about to sell it, the waiter quickly said, sir, our store can sell this A-level violent ape for 580 W. Su Ju didn't know much about the specific price of the violent ape, but he felt that since this place was open for business, he wouldn't be deceiving himself. Sold. After hearing what Su Ju said, the waiter quickly helped Su Ju go through the formalities. Su Ju took the 580W and felt that if he used the system to bet on eggs, he would definitely make much more money than his parents made from doing business. I still didn't continue betting on eggs in that store, and this time I found a bigger store. Do you have anything better than the boutique area? 
Sir, yes, please come with me. Under the leadership of the waiter, Su Ju came to a room where there were only more than a hundred pet eggs. Sir, we can only guarantee that these pet beast eggs come from ruins, but we cannot guarantee their grade. Su Ju nodded, picked up one at random and took a look at the price. It actually cost 300 W. After system detection, this is an A-level clouded leopard's pet egg. The host is advised to be cautious in making contracts. Not bad. When I came up, I encountered an A-level pet beast egg. I knew that the A-level clouded leopard was even rarer than the violent ape. Su Ju put the pet egg back to its place and continued to check other pet eggs. Sure enough, there were high and low pet eggs here. Su Ju checked more than 20 of them, and the best one was the clouded leopard pet egg. Su Ju looked at the time and it was almost 8 o'clock in the evening. The school would close at 10 o'clock. It would take time to get there by car, so he had to hurry up. After system inspection, this is an ancient mythical beast Kui Niu pet egg, grade RRR, rare in the world, it is recommended to host a contract. Ancient mythical beast, RRR quality. Su Ju picked up the pet egg and took a look at it. It was also priced at 300 W. I want this, pack it for me. Okay sir, the price of this pet egg is 300 W. Su Ju nodded, took the card and came to the cashier. After swiping the card, the pet egg will belong to Su Ju. After Su Ju picked up the beast egg and confirmed it was correct, he went to the egg opening area and directly poured a drop of blood on it. Many people here have heard that someone spent 300 W to open an egg, and they all want to see what level of pet beast Su Ju can open. Then these people were dumbfounded. A cow with only one leg and no horns appeared in front of them. These people looked at it again and again, but they didn't realize what kind of pet beast it was. Su Ju directly contracted the ancient divine beast Kui Niu with no intention of selling it. Didn't you see that this is an RRR level quality ancient beast? These people did not expect that Suju would directly sign the contract, and did not give these people a chance to continue to look at it. Seeing Suju leaving in a hurry, these people all became curious about what kind of pet beast it was. From Suju's expression, these people could tell that it must be an amazing pet beast, otherwise the other party wouldn't be like this. Suju checked Kui Niu's attribute map as he walked. Kui Niu, Master. Suju, Realm. Golden Realm 2 Stars Kui Niu was born in the Title Realm, bound by the Master Realm, and his current cultivation level is sealed. Strength. 220. Seal. Agility. 220. Physique. 220. Spirit. 220. Comprehension. 200. Enlightenment. 360. Loyalty. 100. This system recommends that all contracted beasts be 100. Skill 1. Kui Niu Roar. Range attack, accompanied by dizziness. Skill 2, water mastery, passive skill, can breathe freely in water, water free. Skill 3, war trampling, sealed. Skill 4, ultimate collision, sealed. Skill 5, sky cannon, sealed. Skill 6, divine punishment thunder, sealed. Skill 7, ultimate tornado, sealed. Exercise. Kui Niu Gong, exclusive exercise. Introduction an extremely rare ancient mythical beast, very few of which exist in the world. Seeing Kui Niu's attribute map, Su Ju was speechless. So powerful, he was born in a tidal realm, but now his realm is restricted by himself. There are also the seven skills, which made Su Ju blink. They are much better than Dawang. But now there are only two skills, one is Kui Niu Roar and the other is Water Mastery. Two pretty good skills, one with a stun state, definitely a rare skill. The other water proficiency was also quite impressive, especially the water immunity at the end, which made Su Ju overjoyed. Rhubarb now has fire immunity, and Kui Niu has water immunity. In the future, no one can think of giving him the two heavens of water and fire. It's just that this guy has a few open acupoints, only 360 acupoints. Rhubarb now has 335 acupoints open. This Kui Niu is an ancient mythical beast after all, but it only has 360 acupoints. Just when Su Ju was thinking this, the system voice sounded again. Host, 360 is pretty good. Kui Niu's Kui Niu Kung Fu is a 360 orifice technique. This time Su Ju was completely shocked. 
His heaven opening technique only had 36 orifices, while Kui Niu actually had 360 orifices. Do you want to be so perverted? Getting on the bus back to school, Suju began to communicate with Kui Niu through a spiritual contract. How about I call you Kui Niu from now on? Mu. Kui Niu barked without expressing any objection. Kui Niu, who has 100% loyalty, just like Da Wang, will not oppose any of Su Ju's opinions at all. The more Su Ju looked at Kui Niu, the more satisfied he became. From now on, I will also be a man with an ancient mythical beast. After getting off the bus, it was the imperial capital Juyu. After Su Ju entered the school, he summoned Kui Niu. At this time, Kui Niu was 2 meters tall and nearly 4 meters long. He looked like he was not easy to mess with. Seeing Kui Niu like this, Su Ju rolled his eyes and raised the corners of his mouth slightly. A plan appeared in his mind. As a beast master with F-level potential, it is reasonable for me to contract a disabled cow with F-level potential, right? Hee <laughs> hee. Su Ju waved his hand to summon Kui Niu back, turned around and headed towards the villa. Zhang Shan spent the whole night yesterday sorting out the complicated interpersonal relationships at school, and just returned to the villa to rest today. Seeing Su Ju coming back so late, she didn't ask him where he was. We are all adults and should have our own private space. Besides, where else can this apprentice go besides training? Su Ju saw his master coming back and said quickly, Master, I contracted a pet beast today. Um, Zhang Shan was slightly surprised by Su Ju's words, but considering that he had entered the Golden Realm, it was normal for him to contract another pet beast. Zhang Shan even felt that Su Ju should contract more pet beasts. His current fighting style is not that of a beast master at all, and is no different from a pure warrior. Well, it's not bad to contract a pet beast, but you should tell me in advance and I'll see if I can get you a good pet beast. Su Ju smiled slightly and said, Thank you, master. Master, what do you think of my pet beast? After speaking, Su Ju waved his hand to summon Kui Niu. Zhang Shan looked at the pet beast in front of him, and his first feeling was that it was a bit ugly. Then I took a closer look and couldn't help but become curious. Xiao Zhuor, what kind of pet beast are you? Why haven't I seen it before you? Naturally, Su Ju would not say that this was an RRR level ancient beast, and whether the master believed it or not was two different things. Master, I don't know what kind of beast this is. According to the spiritual contract, it says it's called Kui Niu. Kui Niu, Zhang Shan searched his memory, but still found no specific information about this pet beast. Where did you contract? Su Ju chuckled. Master, I heard that the second senior sister had a pet dragon that was bought at the antique market, so I also went to the antique market today. This guy was contracted at the antique market. The corners of Zhang Shan's mouth twitched and he said, Did you listen to what your senior brother said? Aha, Zhang Shan sighed and said, Your second senior sister has made a bad start. Su Ju saw his master sighing and didn't know why he said that, so he quickly asked, Master, why did the second senior sister start such a bad move? Zhang Shan looked at Su Ju and said, Do you know how many people have gone bankrupt because of egg betting since second senior sister contracted a dragon pet in the antique market? After saying this, Zhang Shan said with seriousness, Xiao Zhuor, it's better not to go to this antique market. As the saying goes, nine times out of ten you lose, your second senior sister is just an exception. Su Ju didn't feel that Master was nagging him. Instead, he felt that Master was doing it for his own good. Having identified so many pet eggs, no one knows better than him how deep the water inside the eggs is. If the system wasn't there today, I definitely wouldn't have bought any pet eggs. Zhang Shan said with emotion, Alas! Your senior brother saw your second senior sister contract a dragon pet, and spent all his decades of savings. What was the result? If your second senior sister hadn't saved him, your senior brother would have I can't even afford to eat. Ah, Su Ju didn't expect that his eldest brother would have such a great gambling habit. Zhang Shan Yu looked at Su Ju seriously and said, Do you understand why I stopped you from going to the antique market this time? Su Ju nodded and said, Well, master is right, I only contracted such a disabled cow because of my blindness. Disabled cow. Zhang Shan once again set his sights on Kui Niu. It didn't look like a disabled cow. Instead, 
It gave him a feeling that this cow was extraordinary. Suddenly Zhang Shan thought about this kid always talking about awakening his F-level natal beast. Others don't know what Dawang's strength is, but his country is clear. The terrifying impact force would make even an A-level beast kneel down when it encounters it. But this kid has never let his natal beast compete with a human, and he always talks about his poor awakening. Now that he heard this kid say that he contracted a disabled cow, Zhang Shan felt that he should listen to what he said. Crack! Su Ju got hit on the head and heard Zhang Shan say, Speak carefully, you weakling, don't even think of lying to me. Su Ju chuckled and said, Master, look at this really disabled cow. Have you ever seen a cow with one leg? It looks deformed at first glance, and this cow doesn't even have horns. Ha ha. The more Zhang Shan saw Su Ju say this, the more he felt that this cow was extraordinary. How could this kid contract a disabled cow with his intelligence? Speak carefully, what skills do you have? Su Ju chuckled, not hiding anything, and said, Master, there are only two skills now, one is called Kui Niu Roar, and the other is called Water Mastery. Kui Niu Roars, Water Savvy, Zhang Shan shook his head. The skills of this pet beast had various names. Even he couldn't analyze the specific effects from the names. Let it be used once and I'll see. E.H. Su Ju looked at Kui Niu and said, Kui Niu, call one for our master. When Zhang Shan heard what Su Ju said, he always felt why it was so awkward. What does it mean to call our master? However, Kui Niu faithfully carried out Su Ju's order and was very angry with Zhang Shan. Mu, Kui Niu's voice was so loud that it made Zhang Shan's ears buzz. Just when he wanted to ask Kui Niu to lower his voice, he felt a strange energy coming along the sound. Um, Zhang Shan experienced it carefully, his eyes couldn't help but froze, and he looked at Su Ju and said, This skill is good, it even causes dizziness. Su Ju chuckled and said, Master, don't talk nonsense. I'm really dizzy. How come you're not dizzy? Crack, Su Ju received another blow on the head, and then heard Zhang Shan say, You little brat, what state are you in, what state am I in, you want to stun me, are you dreaming? Su Ju was not angry. Of course he knew this. He just defended. Master, look. Didn't this stun you? Get lost. Where's the other skill? Su Ju chuckled and said. The other one is nothing, just a passive skill. You can breathe freely in the water without losing any combat power. Hearing what Su Ju said, Zhang Shan frowned slightly and said, Well, this skill is indeed not very good. Su Ju echoed. I don't feel very good, and I don't have much fighting power. Oh. By the way, master, this skill also has a state called water immunity. Water exemption. What do you mean? Su Ju explained. It's nothing, it's just an additional state, immune to water attribute spells. You little fool. You call this a useless skill. Zhang Shan cursed angrily and slapped Su Ju on the head. This little kid doesn't deserve to be the son of a man, but he's actually playing tricks on me here. After being beaten by the master, Su Ju chuckled and said, Master, look at me, this disabled cow is quite rubbish. I only have two skills and one is a passive skill. Zhang Shan didn't want to talk. He really didn't know how lucky this kid was to be able to contract such an excellent pet beast. That guy who is proficient in water is really not good at breathing underwater, but that water guy is already extremely perverted, okay. If this was a water fight with someone, it doesn't matter how much advantage Kui Niu had. This Kui Niu is simply the ace pet beast in water battles. Even the dragon pet is not worth mentioning in front of it. In class, Zhang Xin looked at the students in the audience and said, As we all know, our warrior department is a branch of the fusion flow. In the late golden realm, we can already fight together with pet beasts. It's just that this process is very short. It's not that our soul power can't keep up but it's also a big burden on our own bodies after merging, so it's still necessary to increase the physical strength. Su Ju listened to Zhang Xin's words on the podium and couldn't help but think about whether he could also fight together. Although the teacher said that one can only merge in the late golden realm, but the strength of his body is not comparable to that of ordinary people. It's just that Su Ju is still not sure how to fit it together. He feels that he should ask the teacher after class. Zhang Xin looked at Su Ju who was looking for her and said, What do you want from me? Su Ju humbly asked for advice. T. 
teacher, I want to know how to fight in a combined manner with a pet beast. Is there anything special about this? Zhang Xin looked Su Ju up and down and said, Didn't I say that you have to be in the late golden realm to merge with your pet beast? Su Ju smiled and said, Teacher, I heard everything you said, but I feel that my physical strength is stronger than that of ordinary people, so I wanted to see if I could combine it first. Zhang Xin looked at Su Ju, thought for a moment and said, Well, I can help you once by taking your twelve apertures shadowless foot. Since you want to fit in, you'd better buy a set of special clothes that can transform. I don't want to see you naked. If Zhang Xin hadn't said this, he really wouldn't have thought of it. Well, okay teacher, I'll go to the school mall to buy a set. Well, go ahead and come see me again after you're dressed. Seeing Su Ju leaving, Zhang Xin couldn't help but shake her head, this kid is really brave. He actually wants to fuse with his pet beast now. This fusion requires a lot of soul power and physical strength. But since I am here, it is not impossible to let him experience it in advance. Is it just that he wants to fuse with that Chinese garden dog? Kobold, thinking of this, Zhang Xin couldn't help but laugh. Without letting Zhang Xin wait too long, Su Ju rushed back wearing a set of special clothes. Teacher, do you think it's okay now? Zhang Xin reached out and touched the material of the clothes and said, Well, that's all. Follow me to the playground. Good teacher. Su Ju followed Zhang Xin quickly towards the playground. Zhang Xin came to the playground and told Su Ju how to merge with the pet beast. Just follow what I said. If it doesn't work, don't rush into a union. Oh, I almost forgot one thing. How is the relationship between your pet and you? Su Ju knew clearly that Zhang Xin was talking about loyalty, so he looked at Zhang Xin and said, Teacher, what I am awakening is a Chinese pastoral dog, which is born to be loyal. Ah, Zhang Xin couldn't help but smile and shake her head, feeling that she had indeed asked a very stupid question. This Chinese garden dog is a naturally loyal pet. If the potential is not too low, just by relying on this full loyalty, a large number of beast masters can choose to contract. Okay, you can start now. I'm here to protect you, so don't worry too much. Okay, teacher. Su Ju waved his hand to summon Da Huang, and then started to merge with Da Huang according to the method taught by Zhang Xin. Um, Zhang Xin narrowed her eyes. She was a titled beast master, so she could tell Da Wang's cultivation at a glance. Seven stars in the golden realm. Then he glanced at Su Ju, a second star in the golden realm. The corners of Zhang Xin's mouth raised slightly, this guy is not very honest. I used to say that my natal animal was a Chinese pastoral dog, but now it seems that this is not the case at all. Otherwise, how can there be a difference between the realm of the natal beast and the master? However, Zhang Xin didn't ask in detail. These were Su Ju's personal privacy. As for the Chinese pastoral dog's low grade and low potential, Zhang Xin was too lazy to care. For beast masters, sometimes it is not necessary to contract a high-grade pet beast, low-grade pet beasts also have certain uses. Just like exploring roads, the Chinese pastoral dog is most suitable for exploring roads due to its inherent loyalty. Even if you die in battle, you won't feel bad at all. The worst thing you can do is make a new contract. It turns out that the beast controlling space collapsed and there is no way to solve it. But since the emergence of pills that restore the space of beast control, there have been more and more cases of actively contracting low-level pet beasts. Just when Zhang Xin thought that Su Ju had this plan, Su Ju had already completed the merger with Da Wang. A kobold about two meters tall appeared in front of Zhang Xin. Ha! What a kobold! Su Ju felt full of strength at this moment and waved his fist involuntarily. Zhang Xin looked at Su Ju and said, now that we are combined, you can feel your current skills, which will also help you in future battles. Su Ju nodded after hearing this, and then used a combination of charged blast, lightning step, and shadowless kick. This set of combos is his most commonly used skill, and it is also his special skill. Bang! Su Ju kicked in the air. Although there was no monitor, he didn't know the specific strength. But he could tell by the feeling of his kick that the force of this kick was at least three times greater than before. Zhang Xin couldn't help but look shocked when she saw that Su Ju was able to perform three skills when they combined together for the first time. This kid has a very strong soul. With his current level, it is quite difficult to be able to use these three skills. 
Su Ju, do you feel that your soul power is weak and your body is tired? If so, don't hold on. After hearing Zhang Xin's words, Su Ju thought about it carefully. It was true that most of his soul power was consumed, but it was not a loss of soul power. As for physical fatigue, I haven't felt it yet. Teacher, my condition is pretty good, but my soul power was consumed a bit too quickly when I used the skill just now. Zhang Xin nodded and said, you can use the exercises to restore your soul power. In the combined flow, there are people who specially contract pet beasts that know the exercises. In that way, when we combine to fight, one can be responsible for the fighting, and the other can use the skills to restore the soul power for the battle. This is also one of the advantages of the combined style. When Su Ju heard this, he quickly asked Da Wang to use the Beast King Kung Fu to restore his soul power. Sure enough, as Da Wang used the Beast King Kung Fu to restore his soul power, Su Ju could clearly feel that his soul power was recovering rapidly. Zhang Xin thought of something, raised the corner of her mouth slightly, and said, This so called combination allows you to not only use your own skills, but also the skills of pet animals. Now you can also use the skills of the Chinese pastoral dog. When Su Ju heard this, he quickly checked Da Wang's skills. Just this look made him speechless. Impact and bite are just these two attack skills. The remaining one is naturally loyal and the other is passive and reborn, obviously they are not something he can use. The impact was a little better, but if he was asked to bite someone, Su Ju felt that he really couldn't bite. Suddenly Su Ju thought that if it was a close fight, it would not be impossible to suddenly give the opponent a bite. I remember that one of the first two punchers bit off the other's ear. It's just that you will be punished if you bite your ears before crossing over. But in the world of beast control, there are no such rules. After all, I am not simply biting you, but using bite skills. There can't be any skills that I can't use, right? Thinking about this, Su Ju felt that Da Wang should also be allowed to practice his biting skills in the future. No longer thinking so much, he used Da Wang's impact skill by leaning on the back of the mountain. Bang, this time it didn't hit the air, but a training stone on the playground. The stone tablet was split open by Su Ju's impact, which shows how powerful Su Ju's blow was. Hiss, Zhang Xin couldn't help but take a breath when she saw the cracked stone tablet. Although such an attack can be countless times more powerful than this attack just by moving one's fingers. But what is my own state, and what is this kid's state? Golden Realm 2 Stars. No, even if you are a 7 star in the Golden Realm, if you want to cause such an attack, you will never be able to do it without B plus skills. Zhang Xin looked at Su Ju, and the more she looked at it, the more interesting she became. This little guy was hiding very deep. And that Chinese pastoral dog is definitely not simple. It seems that I sometimes make mistakes. Su Ju tested the impact skill and felt that it was quite powerful. It's just that the soul power is consumed a bit quickly. This skill makes his soul power bottom out, and he almost can't maintain the combined state. Seeing that the experiment was almost completed, Su Ju and Da Wang released the combined state. Zhang Xin looked at Su Ju and said, How about it? Do you know the difference between a pure warrior and a pet beast this time? Su Ju nodded and replied honestly. Well, I always thought that the human body can be cultivated like a pet animal, but now it seems that I still thought it was too simple. The corner of Zhang Xin's mouth twitched. She really wanted to open this kid's head and see what he was thinking inside. Training the human body like a pet animal. Although it's not impossible, how much time will be wasted? By the time you use this time to cultivate your body to the level of a pet beast in the Golden Realm, others will have entered the Starry Realm. Well, this is the benefit of merging in advance and experiencing a powerful physical body. The warrior system does not mean that you have to turn yourself into a simple warrior. Controlling beasts is the way to go. Su Ju nodded and said, Well, what the teacher said is that I had a whim before. By the way, teacher, please help me protect the law again. I have to merge with another pet beast to see if there are any changes. Quote. Um. Zhang Xin was not too surprised to hear that Su Ju also had a pet beast. After all, Su Ju is now also a Golden Realm Beast Master, and can theoretically contract three-headed beasts. Su Ju waved his hand, and a strange cow appeared in front of Zhang Xin. The moment she saw the strange cow, Zhang Xin couldn't help but narrow her eyes. 
This strange cow is also a second star golden realm. From this point of view, this strange cow should be this boy's natal beast, right? Ha ha, it's quite hidden, and I don't know who it's trying to trick. Zhang Xin was too lazy to pay attention to Su Ju about this matter. After all, everyone has different behavior styles. It is Su Ju's right to choose. Teacher, please excuse me. Well, I'm here, no problem. Su Ju continued to follow the method Zhang Xin taught him and began to merge with Kui Niu. Due to the experience of merging with Dawang, the merging process this time was extremely smooth. Then a one-legged man over three meters tall appeared in front of Zhang Xin. Seeing that Su Ju was either a kobold or a one-legged tauren, Zhang Xin felt a little funny. Su Ju didn't care about his appearance. He was a beast master, not a bodybuilder. Charged explosion plus lightning step plus shadowless kick can be used in one go. Bang! A terrifying sonic boom sounded, and it was obvious that the power of this blow was much greater than that with the kobold. Zhang Xin couldn't help but be shocked when she saw this scene. This monster is not simple. The power of this kick should be as powerful as an A-level skill, right? Su Ju stood there while recovering his soul power and feeling the kick just now. He could feel the terror of this kick, much stronger than when he was a kobold. However, this kick is very powerful, but the attack frequency is not as high as in the kobold state. In the tauren state, this shadowless leg is more like a heavy leg, with a feeling of killing in one blow. Also, this combination just now made his soul power bottom out in an instant. But as soon as this feeling appeared, the consumed soul power was instantly replenished. Su Ju knew that the reason for this situation was entirely because of Kui Niu's 360 aperture technique. Thinking of Su Ju using this combination again, another terrifying sonic boom sounded. After performing more than a dozen kicks in a row, Su Ju was able to determine that in the current state of the Torin, his battery life was almost unlimited. And Zhang Xin is no longer calm. Is this kid really a two-star gold realm beast master? If you use skills like this, won't your soul power be depleted? She knew that when this happened, it was either because Su Ju himself was at a high level and had sufficient soul power in his soul sea. Either the strange cow's skill is of a high level and can continuously restore Su Ju's soul power. To achieve this possibility, this set of exercises must open at least 108 orifices. After having this idea, Zhang Xin looked at Su Ju again, her eyes were different. Then the corners of his mouth could not help but curl up slightly. He had not had a direct disciple for so many years. This guy is very good, unassuming and low-key. The most important thing is that he is full of bad ideas and always wants to trick others. It fits my philosophy of recruiting apprentices. Zhang Xin looked at Su Ju and said, Boy, try the skills of this strange cow. Su Ju nodded obediently and said, Teacher, this strange cow of mine only has one active skill, and its name is Kui Niu Roar. The sound is a bit loud, so you must be mentally prepared. Su Ju felt that he needed to remind him. After all, not everyone has the strength of his master's eight-star legendary realm. It is estimated that teacher Zhang Xin has the strength of a king, so it would be better to tell him in advance. Zhang Xin smiled slightly and said, It's okay, your teacher can handle it. Seeing Zhang Xin's calm look, Su Ju stopped warning him. After all, I am only in the golden realm, which is several realms away from the king realm, so I probably can't hurt the teacher. Su Ju then started to use Kui Niu's talent skill Kui Niu Roar. Mu, in the combined state, the power of Kui Niu's roar is much greater than yesterday. Circles of sound waves spread out in all directions with Kui Niu as the center, and at the same time there was a trace of coercion from the ancient beast. Zhang Xin was indeed startled by the cow's cry. She didn't expect it to be so loud. However, Su Ju's attack was completely ineffective against Zhang Xin. Zhang Xin was close enough to Su Ju to clearly understand the power of Kui Niu's roar. Feeling the dizzy state in the sound wave, Zhang Xin couldn't help but nodded, feeling that this skill was really good. A field control skill is quite rare at any time, and it is really good for this kid to have such a natal beast. Then the traces of coercion from ancient mythical beasts in the sound wave made Zhang Xin even more certain about the extraordinary origin of this strange cow. She didn't even have to think about it. The level to have such pressure was definitely not low, at least S level. 
When I thought of this possibility, and then looked at Su Ju's second star cultivation in the Golden Realm, everything seemed normal. Otherwise, how could a Chinese pastoral dog with F-level potential be allowed to enter the Golden Realm so quickly? What a liar! Su Ju was also extremely satisfied with this voice, but this skill consumed too much soul power. The voice just now made his soul see and soul power bottom out instantly. Fortunately, there was timely supplementation of Kui Niu Gong, otherwise the combined state would definitely be released. As for the other skill, Water Mastery, Su Ju looked at the surrounding environment and gave up the idea of using Water Mastery. Zhang Xin looked at Su Ju who had released the combined state, nodded with satisfaction, and said, Boy, are you willing to be my direct disciple? Ah, Su Ju looked at Zhang Xin in shock, and it took him a while to come back to his senses. Um, teacher, it's not that I don't want to be your direct disciple, it's just that I already have a master. Um, when Zhang Xin heard this, her eyes narrowed. Then it returned to normal. It was normal for such an outstanding seedling to be targeted. Well, kid, who is your master? I'll just ask you to come over. Ah, Su Ju looked at Zhang Xin and felt that this person might not be able to steal him. After all, the master was a powerful eight star in the legendary realm. However, Su Ju would not refuse directly and said, Teacher, my master is our principal, and he brought me here from Feng Chang. Zhang Xin nodded after hearing this, and then remembered that this boy was Zhang Shan's disciple. It's that loser from Zhang Shan. That's fine, you don't need to worry about this anymore. I'll go find him myself. After saying this, he didn't give Su Ju time to react and left the place in a flash. What, is my class teacher so awesome? He actually said that the 8-star expert in the legendary realm is a waste. Su Ju looked at the place where Zhang Xin was standing before and was speechless for a long time. It seemed that he still didn't know the class teacher well enough. Zhang Shan had just sorted out the complicated relationships in the school, and he felt that it was better than when he was in Feng Chang. Who will care about this at that time? Just leave it to the people below to handle it themselves. But Zhu Yu, the imperial capital, cannot be a hands-off shopkeeper. The relationship here is in chaos. Just when Zhang Shan breathed a sigh of relief, the door was pushed open. Is it polite to come in without knocking? Zhang Shan's tone was slightly displeased. Are there any rules left? Zhang Xin looked at Zhang Shan who was sitting there and said disdainfully, Ha ha, Zhang Shan, I haven't seen you for so long, your cultivation level has not improved, but your temper is getting bigger and bigger. Zhang Shan recognized the person who came in at a glance. The two people can be said to be contemporaries and have had many interactions with each other. Hey, what kind of wind has brought your poison rose master here? Come on, come on, sit down quickly. You may be able to show off your authority when dealing with others, but facing this person, even if you were in the legendary realm, you would not dare to show off your authority. This was a title-level imperial master that he couldn't afford to offend, so he couldn't help but treat him with courtesy. Seeing that Zhang Shan was so sensible, Zhang Xin had no intention of continuing to ridicule him. The two of them played together as a team many years ago, and they still have a certain affection for each other. Zhang Xin was not polite to Zhang Shan and sat directly opposite Zhang Shan. Zhang Shan, I'm looking for you this time because I want to get someone from you. Zhang Shan smiled slightly and said, Master Poison Rose, who do you like among the nine emperors of the imperial city? Just take it. Hearing Zhang Shan's words, Zhang Xin smiled slightly and said, Zhang Shan, you said this. Ha ha ha, Master Poison Rose, don't you believe what I say? Zhang Xin smiled and said, Okay, I won't fight with you anymore, I want to bring your apprentice Su Ju over. Um, when Zhang Shan heard this, he didn't feel reluctant to leave. He just asked out of curiosity, Master Poison Rose, why did Su Ju impress you? Zhang Xin smiled slightly and said, You like it, I think this little guy is quite interesting. I just want to come over from you and become my direct disciple. Zhang Shan nodded and said, well, Master Poison Rose, I have no objection. Su Ju does have a better future with you than with me. When Zhang Xin saw Zhang Shan say this, she felt happy. At the same time, she could also see that this person really raised Su Ju as his own son. 
He knew that letting Su Ju follow him would definitely have a better future than following him, and he didn't know how many resources he had left behind. Well, I came here just to inform you. Okay, since you have no objection, I won't bother you. Oh, by the way, I am your teacher now. Zhang Shan smiled bitterly and said, Master Poison Rose, please don't make fun of me. Okay, okay, you can leave quickly. I am under too much pressure while you are here. Seeing that Zhang Shan was still so humorous, Zhang Xin smiled and said, Okay, I won't disturb you anymore. Goodbye. Seeing Zhang Xin leave, Zhang Shan was also sincerely happy for Su Ju. Although it is not clear what impressed Zhang Xin about Su Ju, one thing is certain that Su Ju will definitely not lose money by following Zhang Xin. I think they were about the same age back then and could be considered top figures in the martial arts department. But Zhang Xin is backed by a big family, and her resources are not comparable to those of a grassroots person like herself. After so many years, others have entered the title realm, but I am still an 8-star legend. From this we can also see the importance of resources to a beast master. It is true that Su Ju has a better future by following Zhang Xin than following himself. Besides, in the world of beast control, no one can have two masters. When Su Ju saw Zhang Xin again, his eyes changed. Master, has he agreed? Zhang Xin smiled slightly and said, Your master is really kind to you and knows how to think about you. From this point of view, you are not with the wrong person. Su Ju nodded. He naturally knew that he was not following the wrong person, otherwise Zhang Shan would not have been able to bring him to the imperial capital. Zhang Xin looked at Su Ju and said, Don't worry this time. Having a master like me is definitely your blessing. Su Ju quickly knelt down and said, Master, please bow to me. Zhang Xin chuckled, looked at Su Ju and said, Well, yes, yes, I will accept you as my apprentice. If something happens in the future, just say that you are the apprentice of Master Poison Rose. It will definitely be more effective than saying that you are Zhang Shan's apprentice. Quote. Poison Rose Master. Master. Su Ju looked at Zhang Xin in shock. He didn't expect that his cheap master was actually a title level master. Seeing Su Ju looking at him in such shock, Zhang Xin's vanity was greatly satisfied. Well, how about it? You didn't expect me to be a title level master, did you? Su Ju nodded honestly and said, Well, master, since you are a title-level imperial master, why are you still working as an ordinary teacher here? Zhang Xin laughed and said, You think I am willing to be a teacher here, but I can't help it. Um, Su Ju looked at Zhang Xin puzzledly, not sure what her situation was. Zhang Xin looked at Su Ju and said, Okay, these things are not yours to worry about. Besides, I am not a teacher here. How could you meet such a good master like me? Ah, Su Ju thought about it and felt that this was indeed the case, and said, Well, that's what master said. Zhang Xin looked at Su Ju and said, Tell the truth to master, that strange cow is your natal beast, right? Su Ju shook his head and said, Master, I didn't lie to you. The Chinese garden dog is my natal animal, and that strange cow is not my natal animal. Um, Zhang Xin looked at Su Ju curiously and said, you may be, your Chinese pastoral dog is already seven stars in the golden realm, how come you are only two stars in the golden realm? Su Ju smiled slightly and said, Master, I have modified the contract with the natal beast. Dawang cultivates Dawang, and I cultivate myself. The two of us do not disturb each other. Ha, huh, you modified the spiritual contract. Isn't this nonsense? Zhang Xin looked at Su Ju in disbelief, not sure why he did this. Su Ju explained, Master, it's not without reason that I did this. Didn't Master realize that being promoted by the natal beast made his realm somewhat illusory? Um, hearing what Su Ju said, Zhang Xin's expression softened a little. There is indeed such a saying at present, and it seems that my apprentice is affected by it. Su Ju continued, Master, look at my realm now and see if it is particularly solid. This is the benefit of not letting the natal beast carry the upgrade. Zhang Xin glanced at Su Ju, nodded, and said, Well, that's what I said, but you're wasting too much time. Suddenly Zhang Xin couldn't talk anymore. Was it wasting time? This kid has just awakened and entered the second star of the golden realm. Is it really a waste of time? Su Ju chuckled and said, 
master, my cultivation talent is still good, no worse than those S-level potential natal beasts. Depend on, why does this kid always want to compete with pet beasts? We're beast masters, okay. After Zhang Xin learned about his personal situation from Su Ju, she said, since you have worshipped me as your master, this 8,000-year-old ginseng tree will be given to you as a gift. 8,000 years awakening ginseng. When Su Ju heard this, he couldn't help but look forward to it. The last time the 3,000-year-old ginseng opened 22 acupoints, now this 8,000-year-old ginseng can't open 30 acupoints. Su Ju quickly thanked him and said, Thank you master for the reward. Zhang Xin handed the 8,000-year-old ginseng to Su Ju and said, Boy, have you ever used this ginseng? Su Ju nodded and said, When school started, the principal and master once gave me a 3,000-year-old ginseng tree. It's only been 3,000 years since the ginseng opened its eyes. Tisk, tisk, Zhang Shan is indeed a poor man. Ah, hearing Zhang Xin's complaints, Su Ju couldn't continue. Zhang Xin just complained a few words and did not continue. Looking at Su Ju, he said, It's a pity. If this was the first time I took the 8,000 years acupoint ginseng, it would still be able to open 25 acupoints. Now that I have become resistant to it, it will only open 10 acupoints. Su Ju didn't feel it was a pity. Others were resistant to drugs, and he had the God's Way rewarding system, so he didn't need to worry about drug resistance. Master, my body constitution is quite special. I am prone to awakening, and the process of awakening is very painful. It is both painful and joyful. Oh, hearing what Su Ju said, Zhang Xin also became interested. Su Ju explained, The last time I took 3,000 years awakening ginseng, it opened 22 acupoints, and it gave me no pain at that time. Hiss, hearing Su Ju's words, even Zhang Xin couldn't help but take a breath. 3,000-year-old ginseng opens 22 acupoints. How is this possible? A 5,000-year-old ginseng may not be able to open 22 acupoints. If you are unlucky, a 8,000-year-old ginseng may open 22 acupoints. As for pain and the like, Zhang Xin didn't take it to heart at all. If it can really open so many acupoints, then just hurt a little. Since you said so, let's take it here. I also want to see how many acupoints you can open. Su Ju nodded and glanced at the 8,000 years awakening ginseng in his hand. He wanted to take it but felt a little frightened and in pain. After all, the severe pain was no joke. This time it was the 8,000 years awakening ginseng, and Su Ju felt that it would definitely hurt more. But now that he has such a treasure of heaven and earth in front of him, there is no reason not to eat it. Without much hesitation, Su Ju picked up the 8,000 years awakening ginseng and swallowed it directly. The moment the 8,000 years awakening ginseng was consumed, the voice of the God's Way rewarding system rang in his ears. After testing by this system, the host can open up to 58 acupoints by taking 8,000 years acupoint ginseng. According to the system plan, it will be open for the host. After hearing the system's words, Su Ju summarized these acupoints and found that they were all concentrated on the legs and feet. Without giving him much time to react, the pain of opening the acupoints almost made him faint. Zhang Xin saw Su Ju's painful expression and could feel that this guy was not lying. Just by looking at him, he could tell how much pain he was enduring. The severe pain made Su Ju unable to stand still anymore and he started twitching directly on the ground. Just when Su Ju was about to roll his eyes, the pain eased little by little. This time, because too many acupoints were opened, Su Ju waited for half an hour before standing up while holding on to the wall. Zhang Xin saw Su Ju's pale face and trembling legs and asked, Has it been turned on? Su Ju nodded with difficulty and said, Open, it's finished, 54 acupoints. What? Zhang Xin looked at Su Ju in disbelief and continued, You said you opened 54 acupoints. Su Ju nodded and said, Well, it opened 54 acupoints at once. It is indeed an 8,000-year-old orifice opening ginseng. The effect of this medicine is really extraordinary. Zhang Xin still couldn't believe what Su Ju said, although she knew that he would not lie to her. But how is this possible? Since this was not the first time Su Ju had taken Kaichao ginseng, she thought it could open 15 orifice points. But this kid is now telling himself that he opened 54 acupoints at once, which is incredible. 
Not to mention that he had developed drug resistance after using Kaichao Ginseng once, even if he had never used Kaichao Ginseng, it would be impossible for him to open 54 acupoints. You must know that most beast control masters may not be able to open 54 acupoints in their lifetime. Now this guy has opened 54 acupoints at once. Just when Zhang Xin was shocked and Su Ju was slowly recovering his strength, the system's voice sounded in his ears again. Congratulations to the host for successfully opening 54 acupoints at one time. Pain is also a kind of training. Special reward. 72 orifice opening skills 1, physical strength plus 20 inches. Since the host successfully opened all the acupoints on the feet, we will reward 72 acupoints shadowless foot 1. After hearing the system's words, Su Ju felt that the pain he suffered was worth it. According to the current open heaven skill, Su Ju could feel that the recovery speed of his soul power was more than 10 times faster. His face, which was still a little pale, gradually recovered at this time. Zhang Xin saw Su Ju like this and said, Okay, if you're okay, go back and have a good rest. Su Ju didn't show too much in front of the master. He nodded and left Zhang Xin's office. Less than two minutes after leaving the office, Su Ju felt warm all over, and the discomfort just now disappeared instantly. Waving his arms, Su Ju could feel that his body was now much stronger than before. Also, with these 72 heavenly skills, my cultivation speed will definitely catch up with Da Huang. Just as Su Ju was walking towards the villa, a familiar female voice came from next to him. Teacher, that's him, the student who doesn't follow martial ethics. Um, Su Ju turned around and saw Jia Yunnan leading a group of middle-aged men pointing at him and walking quickly towards him. Su Ju, this is the team leader of the Inter-School League. Hello, teacher. When Su Ju heard Jia Yunnan's words, he roughly understood what was going on. Hao Yun looked at Su Ju, looked him up and down, and said, Well, attack me. I want to see if you are as powerful as Jia Yunnan said. Su Ju nodded. He went to the Dragon Tiger ranking before, just for the Inter-School League. He walked toward the back and stopped 30 meters away from Hao Yun. Teacher, I'm going to attack. After saying that, Su Ju started to use his own set of combined attacks, but instead of using the latest 72-hole shadowless kick, he still used the 38-hole shadowless kick. Bang! Hao Yun's face couldn't help but become excited, this kid was so fast. He calculated just now that from the time he started attacking to the time he attacked himself, the whole process took no more than 1.5 seconds. Such a short period of time is definitely a nightmare for a first-year beast master. Hao Yun looked at Su Ju and became more and more satisfied, and said, Well, not bad, really good. Your tactics are very suitable for the Inter-School League. Are you interested in participating in the Inter-School League with me? Su Ju chuckled and said, Teacher, of course I am interested. It is an honor for me to participate in the Inter-School League. Seeing Su Ju being so polite, Hao Yun patted Su Ju on the shoulder and said, Well, not bad, come to gym number 5 to report tomorrow. Yes, Hao Yun looked at Su Ju and said, Okay, go back and ask for leave from your class teacher. The Inter-School League will start in 5 days, and there is not much time left for you to train. Hey! I'm going to ask the teacher for leave right now. Seeing Su Ju leaving, Hao Yun couldn't help but be full of confidence in this inter-school league. In the last inter-school league, Imperial City Ju Yu didn't perform very well and didn't even make it into the top six. This time with this kid here, perhaps the nine regions of the Imperial capital can aspire to be among the top three. Zhang Xin heard that Su Ju wanted to participate in the inter-school league and agreed without thinking. For such a competition, Zhang Xin was naturally willing to let Su Ju go up and exercise. After returning to the villa, Zhang Shan had not returned yet, so Su Ju began to use the 72 aperture shadowless kick. Bang! Seeing the numbers on the monitor, Su Ju nodded with satisfaction. This kick has already exerted the power of combining with Kui Niu, and Su Ju himself is very satisfied with it. It didn't take long for Zhang Shan to finish handling the matters at hand and return to the villa. Master, um, Zhang Shan looked at Su Ju and said, There are many masters and many paths. It is your luck to recognize Zhang Shan as your master. Following her will definitely not treat you badly. Su Ju nodded and said, Master, what exactly is going on with Master Zhang? 
Zhang Shan touched Su Ju's head and said, Zhang Shen has a good background. In the warrior sect, if your master is the representative of the civilian sect, then Zhang Shen is the representative of the aristocratic sect. I think back then we were all the top ones in the martial arts department. We enrolled in school together and participated in inter-school leagues together. But your master and I don't have as many resources as others. I spent 10 years in the golden realm in order to gain enlightenment. Think about it, this is just 10 years after awakening. And Zhang Shen has sufficient resources. She entered the platinum realm in the second year, and then got the green light all the way. She successfully entered the title realm 10 years ago and was honored as the Poison Rose Master. Su Ju nodded after hearing this. He could see the loneliness in Zhang Shan's expression. The students we all entered together were the top students in the martial arts department. But now one is in the title realm and the other is in the legendary realm. The difference is too big. Zhang Shan calmed down, turned to look at Su Ju and said, Xiao Zhuor, you are different from me. I want you to recognize Zhang Shen as your teacher because I hope you can go further. Su Ju thought of something and quickly said, Master, I was originally from the civilian sect, but now I accept the noble sect as my master. Is there really no problem? Ha ha ha. Zhang Shan smiled and patted Su Ju on the shoulder and said, Boy, you are overthinking. We both belong to the warrior sect, whether it is the aristocratic sect or the civilian sect. There is no irreconcilable contradiction, and it is not as tit for tat as you think. That's it. Su Ju scratched his head in embarrassment and sighed that he had thought too much. By the way, Master, the teacher in charge of the inter-school league found me today and wanted me to represent the first grade in the competition. Zhang Shan nodded and said, Well, it's not bad to go to the inter-school league. More exercise will be good for your growth. Um, Su Ju chatted with Zhang Shan for a while and then went to train by himself. He didn't talk about the 72-year-old Chao Chao Tian Gong and the shadowless foot, or even the 8,000-year Chao Chao Kai Jinseng. It's not that he doesn't believe in Zhang Shan, but that a person must have his own secrets. Furthermore, a 36-point technique was enough to shock the world. Su Ju was worried that Master would not be able to bear such a thing. At night, Su Ju finally experienced the horror of the 72 orifice opening technique. Although a big week takes more time than 36 orifices, the improvement is just as much. Su Ju ran for a whole night, and when he woke up the next day, he had successfully entered the golden realm of three stars. Feeling such an improvement, Su Ju couldn't help but look forward to the Kaishin Kong. He felt that the 72 Aperture Opening Heaven skill was not the complete version of the Heaven Opening skill, and there should be room for improvement. 108 Orifices Su Ju couldn't help but smile when he thought of this, feeling that he was really too greedy. He even dreamed of possessing the technique to open 108 acupoints. After going to the cafeteria for breakfast, Suju followed the road signs and found gym number. 5. When he came here, there were already many people training here. Hao Yun saw Suju's figure and waved to him, saying, Suju, here. Suju walked over in a few steps and said, Hello, teacher. Well, good, you're here so early. Suju chuckled and said, Teacher, it's getting late, it's already 8 o'clock. Hao Yun smiled slightly and stopped continuing the question. He said to a student next to him, Luo Yi, you are sparring with Su Ju. Yes, coach. Hao Yun looked at Su Ju and said, This is Luo Yi, who is in the first grade. He is very strong. He is currently ranked 911 on the Dragon and Tiger ranking. After hearing what coach Hao Yun said, Su Ju couldn't help but fall in love with Luo Yi. After all, the one with 945 before was already at the platinum level, so this one must be at a higher level than that one. Su Ju said to Luo Yi, please give me more advice. Luo Yi smiled slightly and said, it's not about giving advice, let's make progress together. Don't worry, I will make a measured move. Hearing what Luo Yi said, Su Ju sighed, indeed there were many masters in the imperial capital. Everyone has awakened together. I am still complacent about entering the golden realm and reaching three stars. Others have already been able to guide me calmly. Sure enough, people have to go out to see the broader sky. Su Ju and Luo Yi lined up on both sides, separated by the standard 30 meters. The surrounding team members were all curious. 
The game was about to start, and there were new people joining. Luo Yi has been training here every day during this period, and he doesn't know much about Su Ju's record. Hao Yun acted as a temporary referee. Seeing that both sides were almost ready, he said, The game begins. Bang! Almost as soon as Hao Yun finished speaking, Su Ju rushed out like a cannonball, and then Luo Yi also flew out. This time it was faster than usual, and he also wanted to show himself here. I feel like I am new here, even if I am not Luo Yi's opponent, I cannot be underestimated by him. So this time Su Ju used 70% of his strength. Su Ju was dumbfounded. He thought this guy ranked 911 on the dragon and tiger list was so awesome, but he turned out to be so miserable. Fortunately, I didn't use the latest 72 hole shadowless kick this time, otherwise I would have kicked him to death. This is too good, right? You still want to give me some advice? Pooh, nothing. Hao Yun was also dumbfounded. How could this kid be faster than yesterday? At this time, the team doctor hurried over to treat Luo Yi. Seeing Luo Yi who was constantly vomiting blood, everyone's expressions became strange. This guy was almost the number one player in the first grade, but he couldn't even catch the opponent's kick. Su Ju looked at Hao Yun innocently and said, Coach, I, I didn't mean it. Hao Yun looked at Luo Yi who was constantly vomiting blood, and wanted to say that you are a bit cruel. Jia Yunin whispered to a girl on the side, Did you see, this is the reckless man I mentioned, isn't he reckless enough? The corner of Yu Shuang's mouth twitched, he turned to look at Jia Yunin, and whispered, Nan Nan, where did you find this reckless man? Isn't this too reckless? Jia Yunin chuckled and said, How about this, I am absolutely invincible in the first grade with this skill. Yu Shuang kept nodding, obviously agreeing with Jia Yunin's words. When the surrounding team members saw what Su Ju had done, they were all glad that they had not met Su Ju when they were in first grade. Otherwise, this tactic of not summoning the pet beast and just doing it yourself is really unstoppable. Let alone them, any beast master who wants to use a pet beast is no match for this guy. When Su Ju saw that everyone was looking at him like a giant panda, he scratched his head in embarrassment and said, well, I really didn't mean it. After Hao Yun checked Luo Yi's injury, he felt relieved when he saw that it was not serious. He turned to look at Su Ju and said, Boy, why are you so much stronger than yesterday? Su Ju did not dare to neglect and quickly replied, Teacher, I have been promoted. Yesterday I was only two stars in the Golden Realm, and this morning I was three stars. Fart, Hao Yun snorted, this guy was not kind and told lies with his eyes open. I have been a coach for so many years, and I don't know how much improvement there will be with a small gap in level. Rolling his eyes, he thought that since this kid is so awesome, he should be taught a lesson. Dane, come here, you will spar with him in this round. The student who was named quickly ran over and said, Yes, coach. Hao Yun turned to Su Ju and said, Su Ju, I've seen your battle before. It's definitely a bug among first graders. But you also know that in this inter-school league, even if you play 10 in a row, you can only win by 10 points. What I mean is to see if you can jump to the challenge. In this way, as long as you win one game, you can score two points, and even if if you lose, there will be no points deduction. Su Ju nodded, feeling that this kind of cruelty was indeed meaningless. Fighting with the second graders was more challenging, and it also allowed him to practice his actual combat abilities. Seeing that Su Ju agreed with his idea, Hao Yun continued, This is Dane, who is also the best among the second graders. He is now a five-star platinum level practitioner. Don't worry, nothing will happen to you as long as I am here. Quote. Su Ju nodded and said, Well, then please give me some advice from Senior Dan N. Dane chuckled and said, Su Ju, right. I saw the tactics you just used, and they are indeed remarkable. Most people can't copy them even if they want to. But what I want to say is that to fight with me, it is best to summon your pet beast. My summoning speed is not comparable to Luo Yi's. Su Ju nodded and said seriously. Well, Senior is right, I will seriously consider it. Out of humanity, Dane reminded Su Ju and stopped talking. Whether he listened or not was beyond his control. Hao Yun still acted as a temporary referee. Seeing that the two people were already in their respective positions, he said, The game begins. 
Su Ju still had no intention of summoning the pet beast, and still used his own tactics and rushed towards Dane quickly. Seeing how reckless Su Ju was, even Hao Yun couldn't help but shake his head. Su Ju was still too young. He thought he could conquer the world with one move, but he didn't know that this move would not work at all against Dane, a five star platinum player. Bang! Su Ju kicked Dane firmly, knocking Dane back repeatedly. As expected, he is worthy of being a platinum level 5 star player. His strength is indeed strong, and cannot be compared to the first year Luo Yi. I used 90% of the power of this kick, but in the end, I didn't kick him away. Dane didn't expect that Su Ju's attack speed would be so fast. Before he could summon the pet, the summoning was interrupted. Su Ju had successfully narrowed the distance between him and Dane, so naturally he would not give him another chance to summon his pet beast. He raised his foot and faced him with another shadowless kick. At such a close distance, even if the opponent was a 5-star platinum player, he was still no match for Su Ju. Bang, bang, relying on his 5-star platinum level cultivation, Dane was able to resist Su Ju's kicks, but was kicked back by Su Ju. Su Ju, on the other hand, did not give the opponent a chance to escape from his attack range, and kept using his 72 aperture shadowless kicks. I surrender. Dane didn't want to be Su Ju's easy target. If he couldn't summon the pet beast, he would only be Su Ju's easy target. Everyone around was dumbfounded. They didn't expect that this reckless man could really eat everything with one move. With this skill, even second year Dane is no match for him. You must know that even if Dane is not one of the best in the second grade, he is still the absolute main force, not one of those low-ranking players. Platinum level 5 star cultivation is definitely not low among second graders. But with such a level of cultivation, if he couldn't summon a pet beast in front of Su Ju, he would be like a living target. Hao Yun couldn't help but narrow his eyes when he saw that Su Ju was still so good against the second graders. This guy can do it. Even he didn't expect that Su Ju could be so powerful against second year students. This allowed him to see the potential of Su Ju's leapfrog challenge. Perhaps Ju Yu could go further with Su Ju. He turned to look at the number one second grader who was watching and said, Chen Yang, come here, you two are sparring. Then he said to Su Ju, Su Ju, this Chen Yang is number one on the tiger list and has a nine star platinum level cultivation. You two should compare. Number one on the tiger list. Hearing this ranking, Su Ju couldn't help but narrow his eyes, feeling that this was a challenge. Chen Yang looked at Su Ju and said, Junior, my summon speed is much faster than Dane. If you can't attack me within one second, give up this tactic quickly. Within one second, Su Ju felt that he could challenge it, so he nodded and said, Well, please give me some advice, senior. After seeing both sides taking their positions, Hao Yun said, The game begins. As Hao Yun finished speaking, Su Ju still did not summon the pet beast and still used his own tactics. Su Ju wasn't stupid either. When it came to summoning, let's not talk about whether Da Wang and Kui Niu were the opponents of each other. In terms of summoning speed alone, he is no match for others. After all, he is also in the Golden Realm. Even if someone allows him to summon them, he will still suffer a loss if he has four pet beasts and he has two pet beasts. It is better to continue to use this tactic, so that there is still a glimmer of hope. Seeing that Su Ju was still using the old tactics, everyone couldn't help but shake their heads. Su Ju still didn't understand Chen Yang's terror. Just when Chen Yang entered Su Ju's attack range, Chen Yang's natal beast had been summoned. This is a Tarzan ape with SS level potential, and its strength is quite impressive. Said to be within one second, Chen Yang's summoning speed is actually only 0.8 seconds, while Su Ju's attack takes 0.9 seconds. Although Su Ju did it within one second, Chen Yang still let Chen Yang summon his natal beast. Su Ju ignored Chen Yang's natal beast and only stared at Chen Yang himself. This time, Su Ju used the shadowless kick with the blessing of the heaven opening Kung Fu. The two had the same acupoint and different running routes, but they complemented each other. Bang! The power of this kick has exceeded the kick yesterday when he combined with Kui Niu. After all, Chen Yang is a 9-star platinum player. Even though his melee strength is not as good as that of Su Ju, his level is there. After being kicked by Su Ju, although he took two steps back, he had no intention of being knocked down. 
Naturally, Chen Yang's natal beast would not watch Su Ju attack his master, and hit Su Ju hard. Su Ju ignored Chen Yang's natal beast and kept attacking Chen Yang. After five or six consecutive kicks, he was knocked out by a terrifying force. Su Ju was knocked six or seven meters away, but he did not fall to the ground. Instead, he rushed up again with the strength of his body, not giving Chen Yang a chance to continue summoning. He knew that as long as Chen Yang summoned a pet beast again, he would lose this battle. Chen Yang was not stupid, he knew that as long as he summoned another pet beast, he would win this battle. It's just that the natal beast is summoned the fastest, and other pet beasts are correspondingly much slower. The fastest summoning speed of my own is 1.2 seconds. Just when he was about to continue summoning, Suju had already rushed forward again with the advantage of lightning steps. Bang, bang, Chen Yang was interrupted in the middle of summoning by this kick, which made Chen Yang extremely depressed. However, Suju didn't fare much better. He received a slap from Chen Yang from Taishan Ape. Su Ju groaned and carried it down with his strong body. Then, regardless of the Taishan Ape's attack, he kicked Chen Yang with another shadowless kick. Chen Yang felt equally uncomfortable after being kicked by Su Ju. His face was covered with Su Ju's shoe marks. The people around were stunned when they saw this scene. Taishan Ape hit Su Ju with one palm after another, and they all felt pain for Su Ju. But Su Ju attacked Chen Yang regardless, kicking Chen Yang in the face one after another. After being approached by Su Ju, Chen Yang no longer had the chance to summon the pet beast, and could only rely on his cultivation to resist Su Ju's attack. Chen Yang is feeling quite frustrated now. This guy is obviously no match for him, but now he just can't win. As long as he summons another pet beast, he can immediately take down this fool. It's a pity that Su Ju didn't give Chen Yang a chance at all. He used his high agility and high strength body to resist the Taishan ape's attack and kept kicking Chen Yang. Now Su Ju's strategy is very clear, which is to compete with Chen Yang to see who can't hold it back first. Dahe, violent, Chen Yang knew that it would not be a problem if this continued, and he felt aggrieved by being beaten like this, so he could only change his tactics. As Chen Yang issued the combat order again, the Taishan ape's muscles tightened, and then his height increased dramatically. Su Ju knew that this was Taishan ape's big move. He didn't think he could withstand Beodu's Tarzan ape. He quickly retreated back with a lightning step and shouted, I surrender. Just kidding, this is not a life and death battle, there is no need to risk your life with Chen Yang on this road. With Su Ju admitting defeat, this game also ended with Chen Yang's victory. But now no one has the intention to underestimate Su Ju. Chen Yang is number one on the tiger list. It's quite remarkable that Su Ju can force Chen Yang to do this. Chen Yang was a little depressed. He had suffered so many kicks from Su Ju in vain. The team doctor quickly came up to check Su Ju's body. After all, this man had just endured more than a dozen attacks from the Taishan ape. But these team doctors were quickly shocked by Su Ju's physical strength. How could this be a human being? Could it be a pet animal wearing human skin? He was beaten more than a dozen times by the Platinum Realm 9 star Tarzan ape, but it was only a skin injury and no damage to the internal organs. The most important thing is that these skin injuries are still recovering quickly. I guess if I had come a little later, I wouldn't have needed treatment, and I would have recovered on my own. Senior, you Tarzan ape is so overbearing, you're going to hit me. Chen Yang almost vomited blood when he heard this. Taishan ape beat you, and I haven't mentioned that I was kicked by you. After the team doctors saw that Su Ju was fine, they went to check Chen Yang's injury. Before I checked Su Ju, I had preconceptions, thinking that Su Ju was of low level and was beaten by the Taishan ape, so the injury should be serious. But after they saw Chen Yang's injury, they immediately changed their minds. Chen Yang was kicked hard by Su Ju. This and this were all swollen from the kick. When people around him heard Su Ju's words, they all wondered where this reckless man came from. People say Tarzan is violent, but I think you are more violent. Hao Yun couldn't help but narrow his eyes when he saw this, feeling that Su Ju really should be trained well. If his tactics could be faster by 0.2 seconds, there would be no certainty who would win in this battle. Ba bang bang, Hao Yun clapped his hands and said, well, not bad, not bad, Su Ju, come with me, and the others will continue training. 
After arranging the training tasks, Hao Yun took Su Ju to the side and said, Su Ju, I thought your tactics could only deal with first year students. Now it seems that if you go faster, you will face second year students. It's also very advantageous. Su Ju nodded and said, Well, what the coach said is that I will practice seriously. Hao Yun smiled and shook his head and said, If I read it correctly just now, you have a charged explosive, lightning step, and a kind of kicking martial arts, right? Su Ju nodded, feeling that it was not surprising that Hao Yun could see that. It would be strange if a coach who can lead a team to participate in an inter school league does not have this bit of vision. Hao Yun checked the time and said, I suggest you go to the school's martial arts room to see if there are any better martial arts than charged explosions and lightning steps. Maybe this will make your attack speed faster. Hearing Hao Yun's words, Su Ju felt as if he had been enlightened and secretly cursed himself for being so stupid. The reason why I learned charge explosion and lightning step before was because I was not very enlightened at the time, so I could just learn these two martial arts. Now that not only all the acupoints on my legs and feet have been opened, but most of the acupoints have also been opened, there should be martial arts that are more suitable for me. Well, the coach is right, I'll go take a look right now. Hao Yun nodded and said, It's best to find a martial arts that is stronger than these two and can be mastered quickly, so that you can perform better in the inter-school league. After the previous battle between Su Ju and Chen Yang, Hao Yun now has a great change in his view of Su Ju. He feels that this tactic has been used well and will be of great help to Ju Yu. Yes, Su Ju turned around and left gym number 5, heading towards the school's martial arts room. Seeing Su Ju's leaving figure, Hao Yun couldn't hide the smile on his face. Maybe Ju Yu can have a chance to enter the semifinals this year. Even if it only gets fourth place, it will make history. Seeing Jia Yunnan walking over, Hao Yun laughed and said, Yunnan, yes, yes, you can find such uncut jade. Jia Yunnan also had a smile on her face and said, I didn't expect this kid to be so reckless. I thought his tactics could only deal with first-year students, but I didn't expect that he could force Chen Yang to be like this. Hao Yun nodded and said, Yes, this guy is really good. Although he is a bit opportunistic, I have to admit that his tactics can really defeat players below 9 stars in the Platinum Realm. He is simply born for the ring battle. Ha ha ha. After leaving Gymnasium Number 5 on the other side, Suju followed the road signs and found the martial arts room. Just when he entered here, Suju realized that he had done something very stupid. How powerful can the martial arts that can be learned casually here be? He left his two masters alone and came to the martial arts room. It was extremely stupid. I found Zhang Xin again and explained my purpose of coming. Zhang Xin thought for a moment and said, Well, I have a lot of better martial arts here than charged explosions and lightning steps. I just don't know if you can learn them. If you know them, it's not too late. Zhang Xin took out dozens of martial arts operation root maps from her storage ring and handed them to Su Ju, saying, These are explosive and speed martial arts, you can take a look. Well, thank you, master. Su Ju casually picked up a martial arts operation root map called Thunderstorm Step and read it. At this moment, the system prompt sounded in Su Ju's ear. After detection by this system, there are unknown martial arts, Thunderstorm Step, Sea level martial arts, which can be improved. Do you want to upgrade? There is no need to ask, Suju naturally wants to improve. This upgrade requires 20 points of understanding. Do you want to continue to upgrade? What? Suju was dumbfounded. He didn't expect that improving martial arts would require consuming comprehension. I quickly checked the current attribute points and found that the comprehension level is 270 points. If I consume 20 points, I should be fine. However, after knowing that the skill could be modified, Suju did not modify it rashly immediately. Can the system, lightning step and charged explosion be modified? Suju felt that he had become very proficient in using these two skills and successfully integrated them into his combat system. Even if you can save yourself some time by learning other martial arts now, it still takes a while to get the tacit understanding you have now. It is better to improve on the original martial arts. After all, this set of combos is already very mature in my own hands. Yes, host, these two martial arts have a lot of room for improvement. Do you want to improve them? Hearing that the system was so user-friendly, Suju asked gratefully, 
with the acupuncture points I have opened now, what is the highest level for these two skills, and how much understanding is required? The host, after being magically modified by this system, chooses the best plan for the host, which requires a total of 150 points of understanding. Do you need so many? Su Ju looked at his current understanding points and felt that he had suddenly lost so much. Wouldn't he become an idiot? Host, comprehension is what you use to understand skills and techniques. Consuming comprehension will not damage your IQ. What you are talking about should be called intelligence. That's it. Su Ju heard what the system said, so why did he hesitate? He immediately decided to start the magic reform. Chapter 51 Su Ju checked the martial arts skills that Zhang Xin took out while waiting for the system to magically modify two skills. Zhang Xin saw that Su Ju was looking seriously and asked him to choose slowly, then left the office. A few minutes later, the God's reward system sounded in Su Ju's ears. Congratulations to the host for spending 150 points of understanding to successfully modify the 36 Aperture B level skill charge explosion and the 36 Aperture B level skill lightning step. Is the magic reform completed? When Su Ju heard what the system said, he quickly checked the two skill operation diagrams after this magic change. Originally, these two skills didn't open many acu points, and the grades were naturally not too high. They were also D level skills. This time, he was directly promoted to level B by the system. This improvement is not a big one. The improvement of the two major grades has also transformed these two skills. Su Ju put down the martial arts operation roadmap in his hand and came to the small playground. According to the latest running route, the charged explosion and lightning step were performed respectively. Quick, this is Su Ju's first feeling. He could already complete the attack within 0.9 seconds from a distance of 30 meters. However, after the charged explosion and lightning step were modified, this time was further compressed. Su Ju tested it himself and found that it only takes 0.7 seconds from bursting out to hitting the enemy. Although it only increased the time by 0.2 seconds, if he fights Chen Yang now, he will definitely not be given the chance to summon. At the same time, I am not particularly familiar with the new operating route, so there is still room for improvement at this time. Su Ju was very satisfied with such changes. He could improve his combat system without learning new skills. However, today's battle with Chen Yang also made him see his shortcomings. That is, there are no long-range skills. It would be great if I had some long-range skills now, so that my tactics would be more mature. Sensing Su Ju's thoughts, the system's voice sounded in Su Ju's ears. Host, spend 100 insights and this system can customize a remote skill for the host. Um, hearing such words, Su Ju couldn't help but feel happy, it was as if he was getting something he was missing. After Su Ju looked at the magic charged explosion and lightning step, he only had 120 points of understanding left. After thinking about it, I decided to practice a long-range skill. After all, this understanding point will be spent sooner or later. Another one has long-range skills, and his combat power will be greatly improved. Understand, as Su Ju invested 100 insight points, the system began to automatically deduce long-range skills for Su Ju. About three minutes later, the sound of the Tiandao reward system sounded again. Congratulations to the host for successfully understanding the C-level skill, Yi Yang Finger. Is it just a C-level skill? Su Ju felt that this level was a bit low, but it was better than nothing. Judging from my current soul power, the higher the skill level, the better. Especially when using the shadowless kick, the soul power is consumed very quickly. With his current soul power, he can only use shadowless kick 50 times continuously, which is already his limit. And now there are B-level charged explosions and B-level lightning steps, which are two big consumers of soul power. Su Ju, who looked at the root of the sea level Yang Finger, couldn't help but sigh that sea level should be sea level. Any higher grade would affect his combat system. Instead of continuing to show off his Yi Yang Ji in the small playground, he returned to the villa to train alone. Su Ju discovered that although this Yang Finger skill was a sea level skill, it was still very powerful. It is not weaker than his shadowless kick, and it probably has something to do with his own realm. My current situation is that the skill level is seriously higher than my own level, and I simply cannot exert the original power of these skills. 
This leads to the fact that the power of the C-level Yang Finger is not much different from the power of the A-level Shadowless Kick. Looking at the time, it was already 1 o'clock in the afternoon, Suju had no intention of going back to the gym to train, but stayed in the villa to concentrate on improving his cultivation. Next day, inside gymnasium number 5, when Hao Yun saw Su Ju, he waved to Chen Yang and said, Chen Yang, come here. Yes, Chen Yang thought that the coach wanted him to spar with Su Ju again, so he heard Hao Yun say, Summon your Taishan ape, Su Ju, and you will spar with the Taishan ape today. What? Hearing Hao Yun's words, everyone around was stunned. This coach actually let Su Ju himself spar with the pet beast, and the realm of the pet beast was one level higher than Su Ju's. When Su Ju heard Hao Yun's words, the corners of his mouth twitched slightly. He didn't defend the coach, right? Hao Yun looked at Su Ju and said, As a coach, I need to make you realize the difference between humans and pet beasts. The fighting method of a pure warrior like you is not advisable. When a beast master fights, he relies on his pet beast, not you personally, even if you are a warrior. I hope you can understand this truth. Su Ju still didn't understand the meaning of Hao Yun's words. Logically speaking, he didn't offend this person. Hao Yun looked at Su Ju and said, You don't have to look at me like this. This is a task assigned by your class teacher. Master, Su Ju understood this time. It was probably because he asked her for martial arts skills yesterday that she had this idea. Seeing that Su Ju understood this, Hao Yun said, That's all right, how about you spar with Chen Yang's Taishan ape? Su Ju looked at Hao Yun and said, Coach, isn't this good? Even if you want me to realize my mistake, shouldn't I let the pet beast of the same realm spar with me? The realm of this Taishan ape is much higher than mine. When Hao Yun heard this, he thought to himself, With your physical strength, I'm afraid you'll be beaten to death by a pet beast in the same realm. But Hao Yun couldn't say this, and said, Where does all this nonsense come from? This is what your class teacher told you. Su Ju curled his lips and stopped talking when he heard this. Since it was taught by his master, he just listened. Hao Yun saw that Su Ju had stopped talking and said, Okay, let's go practice. Chen Yang, please keep an eye on it. Don't let your Taishan ape beat Su Ju to death. Yes, coach. Chen Yang looked excited, feeling that the opportunity for revenge had come. Yesterday, this kid left a lot of shoe marks on his face, and he should return them today. Su Ju and Taishan Ape were about 5 meters apart, and Chen Yang started. After receiving the order, Taishan Ape immediately slapped Su Ju violently. Su Ju didn't need to attack Chen Yang this time, so he had no intention of resisting the Taishan Ape's attack. A B level lightning step came to the back of Tarzan Ape, and at the same time, the A level shadowless kick was used. Bang! Taishan Ape was kicked, and naturally he was not in a good mood. He turned around and prepared to continue attacking Su Ju. As a result, Su Ju once again used his body skills to avoid Taishan Ape's attack, and kicked Taishan Ape on the head again. Ouch! Taishan Ape let out an angry roar. This guy didn't have martial ethics and actually greeted him in the face. Haven't you ever heard of hitting a person without slapping him in the face? The same goes for hitting an ape. As Tarzan Ape roared, his body involuntarily used violent skills. For a time, Taishan Ape's attack and defense instantly improved a lot. Su Ju felt bad and immediately used B Lightning Step to distance himself from Taishan Ape. He knew that Tarzan Ape's rage must have a time limit, and it was impossible to be in rage all the time. When Taishan Ape saw the human being trying to run away, he naturally couldn't let him go and quickly pursued him. Su Ju continued to use Lightning Steps to avoid Taishan Ape's attacks. If he just used Lightning Steps, Su Ju could still persist for a while. This scene attracted the attention of many people, who all wanted to see if Su Ju would be repaired. Many people around were attracted by the battle between Su Ju and Taishan Ape. I originally thought that Su Ju would be beaten up by the Taishan Ape, but it turned out that Su Ju had mastered his body skills, and the Taishan Ape could not hurt Su Ju at all. Hao Yun also felt a headache. He didn't expect this kid to be able to play with the Tarzan Ape like this. You must know that that is a Tarzan ape who is in a much higher realm than him, and he was actually tricked by him to the point of using violence. What's even more annoying is that even if Taishan ape goes berserk, he still can't touch the corners of Su Ju's clothes. Su Ju looked relaxed, 
but he was secretly complaining in his heart. He didn't expect that the Taishan ape's rage could last for so long. My soul power is about to bottom out, what should I do? Do you want to admit defeat? Just when Su Ju was thinking this, Taishan ape suddenly felt like a deflated balloon, no longer as brave as before. Su Ju couldn't help but secretly breathe a sigh of relief when he saw this. Stop. Chen Yang quickly shouted stop. He didn't know the details of Su Ju, but he knew the situation of his own beast. The violent state seems good, but the sequelae are also quite serious. After using the rage, you will fall into a two-hour period of weakness. During this stage, both attack and defense will be ten times weaker. Su Ju was also happy to stop, otherwise he would show his cowardice. Su Ju ignored the others, sitting cross-legged and began to use the heaven-opening technique to restore his soul power. Hao Yun couldn't help but sigh when he saw that his goal was not achieved. Teacher Zhang Xin, it's not that I won't help you, it's just that your student is too perverted. And what did you, a student, eat to grow up, so that your physical body is so strong? After a while, Su Ju Ho recovered his soul power, but he did not stand up, so that his possession of 72 acupoints would be exposed. While pretending to continue to recover his soul power, he reviewed the previous battle with Tarzan Ape. Sure enough, fighting is the best way to see shortcomings. After the battle just now, Su Ju discovered many shortcomings in himself. Just like this, while pretending to recover his soul power, he began to look for his own shortcomings and then think of ways to deal with them. Zhang Xin had been observing Su Ju's training in the dark, and couldn't help but sigh when he saw his battle with Taishan Ape. My disciple is good in other aspects, but he values personal force too much. She is now worried that this boy will go further and further down this road, and finally forget that he is a beast master. Originally, he wanted Taishan Ape to teach him a lesson, but now it seems that Taishan Ape is so rubbish that it has no effect at all. If the Platinum Level 9 Star Tarzan Ape doesn't work, then using the Diamond Level Pet Beast seems inappropriate. Well, Zhang Xin sighed, really worried that his apprentice would go astray and go further and further down the wrong path. Su Ju himself was completely unaware of this and was still looking for his own shortcomings. An hour later, Su Ju pretended to recover. Hao Yun called another student over and asked him to summon his own pet beast to spar with Su Ju. Similarly, this student's pet beast is also a platinum level 9 star. If it is too high, he is afraid that he will not be able to control the pet beast. Su Ju looked at the Qingxian lion opposite and began to enter a fighting state. Start. The Qingxian lion pounced towards Su Ju. Su Ju did not choose to bear it forcefully, and still used his body skills to deal with the Qingxian lion. As long as there is a chance, he will kick the green mountain lion on the head. The two were fighting back and forth, leaving Hao Yun speechless for a while. He could clearly feel Su Ju's talent in close combat. When fighting the Tarzan ape, there were still many shortcomings. But this time when fighting against the green mountain lion, he has begun to pay attention to his own shortcomings, trying to use some means to improve, or use his own advantages to avoid these flaws. Stop. Su Ju fought with the Qingxian lion for more than half an hour this time, and finally ended the battle due to lack of soul power. Then continue to meditate to restore your soul power, and continue to think about where you still need to improve. Zhang Xin was speechless. Her original intention was to hope that Su Ju could realize the gap between herself and the pet beast. The result was good now. Not only did he not realize it, but it actually made him see his shortcomings in close combat and improve his close combat tactics. In the end, Zhang Xin had no choice but to give up. She couldn't use a diamond level pet beast to teach Su Ju a lesson, right? In that case, even if Su Ju loses, he will think that his level is too low, not that there is a problem with his tactics. In fact, the Platinum Realm 9 star pet beasts are a bit bullying Su Ju, so it is best to have the same realm pet beast. It's just that this guy doesn't know how he grew, and his physical strength is even more terrifying than that of pet beasts in the same realm. She was also worried that this guy wouldn't be able to control him and would eventually beat his pet to death. In this way, Su Ju spent the whole day sparring with Qingxian Lion, and his actual combat experience was greatly improved. Originally I could only fight against the Green Mountain Lion for half an hour, but in the end I was able to fight against the Green Mountain Lion for an hour. 
The whole day was spent in actual combat, which made Suju extremely fulfilled. After returning to the villa, Suju summoned Kui Niu. Kui Niu, attack me, don't use Kui Niu roar, let's practice. Mu, Kui Niu was speechless and yelled to understand what Suju meant. Then Suju saw the Kui Niu heading towards him. Suju thought that if Taishan Ape, a 9-star platinum level warrior, could carry it on his own, Kui Niu, who was also a 3-star gold level warrior, would be no problem. Bang, depend on. Su Ju was hit by a high-speed car like an ordinary person. Stop. Su Ju quickly stopped Kui Niu's attack and stood up holding his waist. Kui Niu, how come your attack is more powerful than the Taishan Ape and the Qingxian Lion? Mu, Su Ju understood Kui Niu's meaning through the spiritual contract. Be it the Tarzan Ape or the Green Mountain Lion, they are only pet beasts with potential below the SSS level. Kui Niu, on the other hand, has RRR level potential and is an ancient mythical beast. In Kui Niu's words, he is invincible in his own realm. In the next battle, Kui Niu showed Su Ju what it means to be invincible in the same realm. No matter how Su Ju attacks, he is no match for Kui Niu. Not only in terms of attack, but also in terms of speed, if you don't use lightning steps, you won't be a match for the one-legged cow at all. As for defense, Su Ju was completely stimulated. He was also a three-star in the Golden Realm. He hit Kui Niu with all his strength, but Kui Niu didn't react at all. But Kui Niu used normal attacks, bumped himself, and kicked himself for a while before he recovered. In terms of defense, he and Kui Niu are not at the same level at all. This time without Zhang Xin, Su Ju saw the gap between himself and the top pet beasts. Just as Su Ju was deeply hit, the voice of the God's reward system sounded in Su Ju's ears again. Task. Spar with Kui Niu ten times with full strength, each session shall not be less than ten minutes, reward physical strength plus 3-0, passive skill iron cloth shirt. Um, Su Ju's eyes couldn't help but light up when he heard the system's voice. This was really a humanized system. Knowing that my defense is weak now, I use this method to strengthen myself. However, thinking about how long the 10-minute sparring session was, Suju still had a headache when he was still sparring with all his strength. However, for the sake of the iron cloth shirt, Suju could only bite the bullet and said to Kui Niu, Kui Niu, attack me with all your strength, including using skills. Mu. Su Ju only heard Kui Niu roar once, and then nothing happened, and he lost consciousness. Kui Niu looked at Su Ju who was stunned and lamented that his master's defense was so low. I can't even hold back my screams. Imperial Stadium. Su Ju followed the team through the competition channel and entered the lounge. Hao Yun looked at all the team members on the opposite side and said, Today our opponent is the Kiyu of the Imperial City. They are not weaker than us. Everyone must cheer up. Yes, Su Ju listened to Hao Yun's pre war mobilization and also responded. After Hao Yun talked for a while, he asked everyone to start doing warm up activities. It was only half past seven when they came in, and the game didn't officially start until nine. The purpose of coming in early is to make the players nervous and familiarize themselves with the venue. At half past eight, the audience came in one after another. Unlike national competitions, the society does not pay much attention to interschool leagues. So today's audience is mostly students from the two schools. The original intention of the inter-school league is to allow these outstanding students to inspire others. Su Ju followed the team members to the competition stand and said to Jia Yunin on the side, Sister Nan, are there so many people? Jia Yunin smiled and said, Of course, this is an inter-school league. Although there are not many people in the society, our school is fully mobilized and everyone who can come is open. Thinking of something, Jia Yunin joked, Xiao Ju, behave well, maybe you will be single today. Su Ju knew what Jia Yunin meant, so he smiled slightly and said, Sister Nan is joking. What are you kidding me about? This is an inter-school league that attracts the attention of the entire school. If you perform well, you will definitely have priority in choosing a mate. Su Ju shook his head and said, dating about a girlfriend is such a waste of time. Wouldn't it be nice to have that time to train? Um, Jia Yunin looked at Su Ju, but she didn't expect this guy to say that. Just when Jia Yunin wanted to ask the reason, the host's voice came from the radio. 
Everyone is in position. The Interschool League is about to begin. The same voice shouted three times before it ended, and then the host continued, Please give a speech by the principals of both parties. Really, this is the same process everywhere. Wang Jiping, the principal of Kiyu, took the lead in delivering a speech, which lasted half an hour. Su Ju almost fell asleep when he heard this. He looked at Jia Yunnan and said, Sister Nan, how can this person be so good at talking? Jia Yunnan chuckled and said, Just get used to it. Every inter-school league starts at 9 o'clock, and the real start is after 10 o'clock. Do you know what I mean by asking you to have breakfast this time? Su Ju shook his head helplessly, feeling that these people were really talented in language. Finally, Wang Jiping finished speaking and handed the microphone to Zhang Shan. Zhang Shan took the microphone and said with a smile, I don't have anything to say. Principal Wang has already said it very well, so I won't repeat it. I wish all the participating team members to perform well. Just when everyone was about to listen to a long speech again, Principal Zhu Yu actually said that he had finished speaking. Wang Jiping glanced at Zhang Shan with a deep look. The meaning was obvious. What do you mean? Originally, everyone had to speak here for half an hour to show their identity as principal, which has become an unspoken rule for many years. As a result, I have been speaking for half an hour. When it is your turn, you only speak for less than a minute. Are you playing me? Zhang Shan chuckled and said, Principal Wang, don't look at me like this. I'm just a rough guy. I'm not good at talking. I'm good at killing people. Cough. Wang Jiping coughed lightly, feeling like he was being threatened. Just thinking about what this man did on the battlefield not long ago, I stopped worrying about it. I am a cultural person, so I don't have to worry about such embryo killing people. But all the spectators on the field felt that Principal Zhu Yu was such a good person. For a time, the recognition of Zhang Shan among all the teachers and students of Zhu Yu reached an unprecedented height. Su Ju couldn't help but raise the corner of his mouth and said to Jia Yunin, Look at how good my master is, it's over in less than a minute. Um, Jia Yunin nodded heavily, fully agreeing with Su Ju's words. The host was also surprised that this new principal from Zhu Yu did not follow the routine. The tea on your side has just been brewed, and you haven't even taken a sip yet, but you're finished. But that's fine, if you get to the point earlier, your work can be finished earlier. The host picked up the microphone and said to everyone, let us thank the two principals with warm applause for their speeches. Ba bang bang. Wang Jiping felt awkward listening to the applause of the audience. He knew that the applause was definitely not for him. He glanced at Zhang Shan who was slightly proud of himself and couldn't help but snorted. Zhang Shan didn't care about this either. He was a nine-star beast master in the legendary realm, and he couldn't afford to talk nonsense to a guy who had just entered the legendary realm. That's right, with the 36 aperture opening heavenly skills provided by Su Ju, Zhang Shan has entered the legendary nine-star realm and is not far from the title realm. The host then introduced today's referee team members one after another. This referee team is not composed of teachers from two schools acting as referees, but from other schools. This will also reflect the fairness and justice of the inter-school league. Then the players from both sides entered the stadium, raised the national flag and played the national anthem. After all processes are completed, the official competition will begin. As usual, the competition will start from the first grade, followed by other grades. Su Ju looked at Hao Yun and said, Coach, do you need me to make a string of ten? Hao Yun shook his head slightly and said, No need, your task today is for the second half of first grade, there will be people ahead of you to pave the way for you. Su Ju nodded, stopped talking, and just let everything be arranged. In this match, Ju Yu sent someone to the stage first, and the one who came on stage was Luo Yi, who had been kicked away by Su Ju. Although he was once kicked away by Su Ju, it does not mean that Luo Yi is really good. The person on the other side obviously had Luo Yi's personal information, and he asked the first grader to take the stage in the first scene. Coach Kiu on the opposite side rolled his eyes and called an ordinary first-year player over. Haiyu, you go up to this fight. We don't require you to defeat Luo Yi, just consume his soul power to the maximum extent. The student who was named quickly replied loudly, Yes, coach. Well, go ahead. Don't care about winning or losing. Just remember your mission. Yes, seeing Haiyu step onto the ring, 
Coach Q couldn't help but shake his head slightly. Hao Yun is still too young, how can he let the ace take action as soon as he comes up? Just for a good start, is it worth it? In the inter-school league, it is not whoever wins the first game can continue to win. The inter-school league needs to consider the entire game. Think about the big picture. Compared with himself, Hao Yun was indeed a little behind. When Hao Yun saw Hai Yu on stage opposite him, he couldn't hide the pride on his lips. If Su Ju were not there, he would naturally not let Luo Yi take the stage first. After all, he was the ace of the first grade, and it was indeed too early to let him come out at this time. But now that I have the more powerful Su Ju, there will be no problem sending Luo Yi to the stage first. Luo Yi also knew his mission today and was not angry at being slighted. On the contrary, it feels like the more contempt the better. According to the Interschul League rules, there is a one-minute trash talk time before the game. Of course, the official title is not trash talk, but a time for friendly exchanges between the players from both sides. Luo Yi looked at Hai Yu who was opposite and spoke first, Hai Yu, right. You are no match for me, so why don't you admit defeat? Hai Yu smiled slightly and said, you will only know whether you are your opponent or not after a comparison. It is useless to argue. Luo Yi curled his lips and said, but it's good that you can come on stage, so that I, Luo Yi, can do it all. When Coach Q heard Luo Yi's arrogant words, he couldn't help but shake his head and lamented Luo Yi's ignorance. A string of ten, although your strength, Luo Yi, is not weak, I admit this. But if you say you can complete a string of ten, that is definitely wishful thinking. The inter-school league has been established for so long, how many can complete a string of ten every year? Too young, the coach is young, and the students are also so young. I really don't know what the principal opposite is thinking. Well, the one-minute trash talk time ended quickly, and both sides signaled to the referee that they were ready. Game, start, as the referee finished speaking, the two people began to call at the same time. Su Ju in the audience watched the battle between the two people, and suddenly the sound of the God's Way rewarding system sounded in his ears. Task. Test your skills in a small way, complete a string of 10 in the inter-school league, and the reward is Sol C area plus 10. Um, when Su Ju heard such a voice, he couldn't hide the excitement in his eyes. Now my biggest shortcoming is that I don't have enough soul power. Affected by my own cultivation, Many martial arts skills cannot display their original power. Moreover, there are too many high-level skills now, and a set of combined tactics will consume a lot of soul power. If the area of this soul C can be increased by 10 points, it will definitely be a huge improvement for me. It's really difficult to complete a string of 10. If Hao Yun lets himself play from the beginning, then a string of 10s will definitely not be a problem. But obviously Hao Yun wanted to challenge himself to a higher level as much as possible, so this was a bit troublesome. Xiao Ju, take a good look, this is a battle between serious beast masters. Jia Yunin saw Su Ju wandering around and felt that he needed to remind him. This inter-school league is a rare opportunity for him, an opportunity to learn up close. This kid is wandering around now, and I can't let him waste such an opportunity. Yes, Sister Nan. Su Ju replied and continued to watch the competition on the ring. At this time, Luo Yi had the absolute upper hand, and it was only a matter of time before Hai Yu on the opposite side was defeated. Sure enough, in less than three minutes, the opponent lost a pet beast, which was saved by the referee in time. Everyone is also in the golden realm. The result of three volts too can be imagined. Hai Yu lost quickly. On the ring, Luo Yi looked proud and said, I apply to continue fighting. Hearing Luo Yi's words, Su Ju's mouth twitched and said to himself, you should lose, so that it will be much easier for me to complete a string of ten. It's a pity that Luo Yi couldn't hear Su Ju's inner voice at all, and even if he heard it, he wouldn't give him a chance to pretend. In less than half an hour, Luo Yi successfully defeated three students from Qiu. Luo Yi felt that his soul power had reached the bottom and had no intention of continuing to challenge. He signaled to the referee that he would not challenge. Seeing Luo Yi step down, Su Ju looked at Hao Yun expectantly. Hao Yun, on the other hand, ignored Su Ju at all. It would be a complete waste to let Su Ju step down now. So what if a string of tens is in the first grade? A leapfrog challenge is the way to go. 
Seeing that he was being ignored, Su Ju could only sigh. It seemed that this string of 10 might not be easy to achieve. Seeing the next game in the arena, Su Ju thought about how to complete the system task. Suddenly an idea appeared in his mind, and he said to Hao Yun on the side, Coach, is it okay if I go to the toilet? Hao Yun looked at the battle on the field, then at the team members around him, and said, I can give you 10 minutes. Su Ju quickly said, It won't take so long, I'll be back in 5 minutes. Well, go ahead, go back quickly. Okay, coach. Su Ju didn't really go to the toilet, but called Zhang Xin. The phone was quickly connected, and Zhang Xin's voice came from the other side. Aren't you competing? Su Ju chuckled and said, Master, I have a question I would like to ask. Well, tell me, Master, you said that in the combined state, when I use my skills, the pet beast can help me recover my soul power. After the combination is over, I had half soul power before. After disintegration, will I have full soul power or half soul power? Zhang Xin nodded and said, It depends on the situation. If you had half soul power before the merger, and full soul power when you merged, if you disintegrate at this time, you will still have half soul power. That's it. After hearing this, Su Ju was a little disappointed. He thought he could rely on Kui Niu to help him last indefinitely, but now it seems that he was overthinking it. When Zhang Xin heard Su Ju ask this, she knew what he wanted to do. You don't have to be discouraged. In fact, there is a solution to this matter. Oh, master, please tell me. After merging, you will hand over the control of your body to your pet beast and use your skills to restore your soul power. If you disintegrate with full soul power, the soul power you recover during the merging period will be your own. It's just that this method is easy to say, but in fact it is very difficult. First of all, you must ensure full soul power when disintegrating. Secondly, after you merge, the pet will fight for you, and the outcome is still unknown. The most important thing is the cooperation between you. The higher the tacit understanding between you and the pet, the greater the possibility of success. But even if you fail, your soul power can still be restored to a certain extent, but it won't be full soul power. After listening to Zhang Xin's words, Su Ju said he understood and then hung up the phone. After Zhang Xin hung up the phone, the corners of her mouth could not help but curl up slightly. Did this kid want a string of ten? Otherwise, why would you ask yourself about restoring your soul power? After Su Ju hung up the phone, his mood became beautiful. Return to the stands again and continue watching the game. At this time, Hao Yun saw Su Ju coming back and said, Su Ju, go warm up, it's your turn. Su Ju nodded and headed towards the warm up venue without any nonsense. Not long after, Hao Yun gave himself a signal and asked him to enter the ring. Su Ju knew that his opportunity had come and quickly replaced the previous team member. Classmate, thank you for your hard work. Leave the rest to me. Who? Such a stinker. But when he saw that the person coming was Su Ju, the impatient expression on his face immediately changed. Brother Ju, come here, come here. After these days of training, no one in the team knows about this ferocious humanoid beast. A person in the gold realm can fight with a nine star pet beast in the platinum realm. Who dares to provoke him? Su Ju looked at the contestant on stage opposite and felt that he should also talk trash, otherwise he couldn't be criticized, right? Well, on the other side, before the game starts, summon the pet beast quickly, otherwise I'm afraid you won't have the chance to summon the pet beast. Oh, let me rub it. When the audience heard Su Ju's words, they all felt that Ju Yu was arrogant. Liu Bingxin, who was opposite, looked at Su Ju and said, Ha, huh, that's such a big tone. I don't know if you have that strength. Su Ju smiled slightly and said, How come you don't listen to advice? How can I lie to you? Liu Bingxin sneered and said, I discovered one thing. You Ju Yu people are not very strong, but your tone is louder than the last. Su Ju shook his head and said, You are really wrong about this. Didn't you see that we have won five games in a row? Doesn't this explain the problem? Snort, Liu Bingxin knew exactly what was going on. It seemed that the previous games were just the coach's tactics. Those who went up were nothing more than cannon fodder. Their mission was to consume Ju Yu's soul power as much as possible. Now it seems that the coach's tactics are correct. Regardless of whether his side loses more or wins less, he knows that his side has not yet really exerted its strength. 
After the two men taunted each other for a while, the referee rang the bell, signaling that the match between the two men was about to begin. Game, start. As the referee finished speaking, Liu Bingxian began to summon the pet beast step by step. Su Ju is a normal version with the functions of charged blast, lightning step and shadowless feet. Bang. Before Liu Bingxian could finish his summons, he was kicked off the ring by Su Ju. Countless spectators in the stadium were stunned when they saw this scene. What did I just see? Chi Yu was kicked away by someone. This, this, how is this possible? This is a Beastmaster competition, okay. What is going on with you? It's so frustrating. It's so frustrating. Liu Bingxian from Qiu must have died from the frustration. He was kicked away before his pet beast could even be summoned. The referee team was also confused. After all, nothing like this had happened before. Su Ju turned to look at the referee and said, Referee, did I win? Ah, the referee had never encountered this situation before, so he quickly said, Wait a moment, your situation is quite special, let me ask you something. Su Ju nodded without saying anything, and just stood on the ring to recover his soul power. The chief referee also had a question mark at this time. He had never dealt with such a matter before. Finally, we found two principles to discuss it. Wang Zhiping, the principal of Qiu, said with an angry look on his face, this is definitely against the rules. This is a beast master competition. What is going on with him? Zhang Shan looked at Wang Zhiping and said, well, you were right, then tell me which rule Su Ju violated. Ah, Wang Zhiping was scolded. After thinking about it carefully, it seemed that the rules did not stipulate that pets must be used in competitions. This isn't fair. My student pet hasn't been summoned yet. How can there be such a competition? Zhang Shan snorted and said, then you can stop letting your students summon pet beasts. Why? Why don't I let my students summon pet beasts? Then why do you have to let my students summon pet beasts? I, Wang Zhiping was speechless and didn't know how to refute Zhang Shan. Zhang Shan looked at the referee and said, Did my student violate the rules? Does the competition rule say that pets must be used? The referee shook his head. After all, there was indeed no such rule in the rules of the game, so Su Ju could only take advantage of the loophole, but it could not be said to be a violation. Wang Zhiping quit. He knew that if Su Ju was allowed to continue like this, his head would definitely be shaved in this grade. No, are you violating martial ethics? This is inconsistent with the original intention of the inter-school league. Zhang Shan sneered and said, Martial ethics, which martial ethics is violated? My student's use of martial arts violates martial ethics. Then why use our martial arts department? Ah, hearing that Zhang Shan had moved out all the warriors, Wang Zhiping knew that he could not continue these words. After all, this sentence does not allow warriors to use martial arts. As long as I dare to say it, I will definitely offend everyone in the martial arts school. Martial arts are the signature of the martial arts school, why don't you let people use martial arts? No, this is unfair. We must not encourage such unhealthy tendencies. This is a beast master competition. What's the point of not having to pet a beast? Zhang Shan chuckled and said, Beast controller competition. Come on, tell me where it says beast controller competition. There is no beast controller competition in the full name of this inter-school league, right? Chief referee, tell him this what's the full name of the competition. Ah, hearing Zhang Shan's words, the referee and Wang Zhiping were speechless. Indeed, the full name of this competition is called an inter-school league, not an inter-school league for beast masters. Zhang Shan looked at Wang Zhiping and said, I think you are just messing around. Chief referee, I suggest that he be expelled from the field. Expel me. Why expel me? Yes, why do you expel you? Then why do you say that my students don't follow martial ethics? It's unfair for your student to do this to other beast masters. Why haven't they summoned their pet beasts yet? Then I suggest that others are not allowed to use pet beasts that exceed the golden realm, because there are still people whose pet beasts have not reached the golden realm. It is unfair to them if you use a pet that exceeds the golden realm. You, you are so messy. What do you call me being reckless? What I call being reasonable? The chief referee watched the two principals arguing non-stop, and one of them was the bigger one. In the end, I had no choice but to directly consult the inter-school league organizing committee. The organizing committee has never encountered such a thing.
After all, how can there be no animal control world competition without petting animals? But Su Ju really didn't violate the rules. He could only say that his competition rules were not perfect enough. Finally, after an hour of discussion, it was decided that Su Ju's competition results were valid and he could continue to participate in the competition. In this hour, the little soul power Su Ju had consumed has long been replenished. As the referee announced the decision of the organizing committee, the stadium was boiling again. Coach Kyu was completely panicked. He didn't expect that Ju Yu had such tactics. Before, I thought how young was too young, but now it seems that it's not other people who are young, but myself who is confused. He turned to look at the number one person in the first grade and said, Lan Zichung, you are the one doing this. Lan Zichung stood up and said, Coach, this, this Ju Yu doesn't talk about martial ethics. Oh, I know, but even if I want to appeal now, I have to wait until the game is over. Lan Zichung wanted to say something else, but finally gave up. He knew that this matter could not be changed by the coach, so he could only bite the bullet and step into the ring. Looking at Su Ju across from him, he said, Su Ju, you are just opportunistic and have no moral ethics. You are exploiting loopholes in the rules. Su Ju was unmoved and said calmly, Really? I didn't expect that after so many years of competition, there are still loopholes to exploit. You, you are shameless. Despicable, listening to what the other person said becoming more and more unpleasant, Su Ju said sternly, This is trash talk time, not curse time. Referee, this is not trash talk, this is curse time. I suggest that this person be kicked out of the game. He violated the rules of the game and said dirty words. So many people heard it. Lan Zichung just felt like he was so full of scolding that he forgot about this incident and said quickly, You are talking nonsense. I didn't. Su Ju shrugged, looked at the referee and said, Referee, there was a video of the game just now, and there were witnesses in the whole stadium, and this person still refuses to admit it. With this quality, I don't know how the opposite Kiyu teaches his students. Quote, As soon as this sentence came out, all the teachers and students of multifaceted Kiyu dared not speak out. There is no way this matter is indeed Kiyu's fault. Lan Zichung did say dirty words. He doesn't even want to admit it. The referee glanced at Lan Zichung and lamented that this guy was really stupid. There is no need to ask the chief referee for instructions. There are clear regulations in the game that swearing will result in expulsion from the field. Emperor's Seventh Region First year Lan Zichung violated the competition regulations and was expelled from the field in order to respect his superiority. Imperial City's Nine Regions, Su Jusheng. As the referee declared victory, Su Ju saw that one-fifth of his ten tasks had been completed. Sure enough, people still have to use their brains, and fighting and killing is not the right path after all. Lan Zichung was dumbfounded. He never thought it would end like this. And he could think that what he did today had already discredited Kyu. It's not scary to be defeated. After all, your skills are inferior to others, or the other party doesn't respect martial arts, you can all have an explanation for Kyu. But now that he was caught and kicked out of the game for swearing, this is a bit unjustifiable. He knew that after this battle, it would take some effort for him to stand up. Su Ju looked at Lan Zichung and said calmly, My classmate, please let me out of the ring quickly. Do I want to continue the challenge? You, Lan Zichung wanted to say something else, but he knew that the more he said now, the more mistakes he would make. He turned around and left the ring with a look of reluctance, and his expression made Su Ju's heart break. Su Ju didn't take it seriously and said to the referee, Referee, I apply to continue the challenge. Referee, I apply to continue the challenge. As soon as these words were spoken, Coach Q's head ached. Lan Zichung, he came on stage and didn't consume the opponent at all. He was totally embarrassed. Guo Shui, you do this. Yes, coach. Su Ju noticed that his opponent in this match was a girl. Could it be that the opponent was planning to use a beauty trap? Ha ha, Su Ju didn't want to use this move against others, but when using it against himself, he was sure that the opponent was overthinking it. After Guo Shui came on stage, she bowed politely and said, please give me more advice. Su Ju also returned the greeting, please give me more advice. Su Ju will also treat polite people with courtesy. After saying this, neither of the two people spoke, quietly waiting for the trash talk time to end. 
game, start, bang. Just when the referee finished these words, Suju immediately used the combination package to kick Guo Shui away without any mercy. Joke, how can a woman have a string of 10 rewards? All the teachers and students of Kyu watched helplessly as Guo Shui was kicked away by Suju without even summoning his pet beast. Cruel, too cruel. How could this Suju do this? Do you understand Lian Xiangxiu? Oh my, oh. Ah ah ah, Suju, I'm going to fight you. How dare you kick my snow goddess? I'll fight to the death. How could this Suju do this? He is so ungrateful. She is a girl, how could she kick her in the face? Ahem, if you don't kick me in the face, why don't you kick me in the chest? Kick me in the butt. The referee also sighed. When encountering a player like Suju, Kyu's first graders would definitely have no hope. Coach Kyu looked at another student with an ugly face and said, Lin Yiming, come on. Yes, coach. Seeing Lin Yiming's back, Coach Kyu regretted it very much. If he had known, he would have let these masters take the stage in advance. That way, I won't get a single point in the first grade and have my head shaved. Lin Yiming looked at Su Ju and said, Su Ju, do you have the guts to let me summon the pet beast so that we can fight again? Su Ju Dao. Yes, there must be. Hearing what Su Ju said, Lin Yiming couldn't help but reveal a smile of success on his face. Okay, this is what you said, don't go back on it. Su Ju said, yeah, yeah, I won't go back on what I said. I'll give you one second. As long as you can complete the summons, I won't do anything. Hearing Su Ju's words, Lin Yiming said angrily, how can you summon a pet beast in one second? Su Ju smiled slightly and said, why is it impossible? It seems that the teachings taught by Yu Chi Yu are not very good. There is a senior in our second grade of ninth Yu who can do it, but no one among Yu Chi Yu can do it. Ah, Lin Yiming was directly fooled by Su Ju, and quickly said, That's not what I meant, I meant who in the first grade can summon a pet beast in one second. Su Ju clenched his fist and said, Come on, I believe you can do it. Come on, uncle. Lin Yiming really wanted to greet Su Ju's relatives. But thinking about what happened to Lan Zicheng before, he gave up rationally. The people in the audience could clearly see that Su Ju was completely teasing Lin Yiming. But this is human nature. Su Ju developed this tactic just for today. How could he be angered by others and give up his own strengths? One minute ended quickly. When the referee saw the two people taking their respective positions, he said, the game begins. Bang. Not surprisingly, Lin Yiming was kicked off the ring by Su Ju again. Su Ju looked at the referee and said, Referee, I apply to continue the challenge. When Coach Kyu heard this, he asked the last first-year student to come on stage with an ugly expression. At this moment, he already knew that it was inevitable to have his head shaved in the first grade. The first grader had his head shaved. It may not be easy to win the nine royals in today's game. Game, start, bang. Referee, I apply to continue the challenge. Not surprisingly, the team member was sent off the ring by Su Ju again. When the referee heard what Su Ju said, he felt that he needed to remind him and said, Su Ju, this is the last game for the first graders. If you want to continue the challenge, you can only challenge the second graders of Kyu. Su Ju nodded and said, Yes, I understand. Referee, I apply for a leapfrog challenge. Hiss. Hearing that Su Ju was about to leapfrog the fight, the whole stadium was boiling again. Although situations like this happen every year, this kid's fighting style this year is different from others. The referee looked at Su Ju with a serious look on his face and said, allow the challenge to continue. Q, please send your second year opponent to fight. That's too much. Coach Q's face was so ugly that it could kill people. He turned to look at the number one person in the second grade of Q. Ma Long, if you go into this scene, you must teach this guy how to behave. Yes, coach, you cannot choose your opponent for this second year challenge. Kyu has the right to send the strongest person to fight. Ma Long walked onto the ring with an angry face, looked at Su Ju and said, boy, don't be too arrogant. Su Ju looked at Ma Long and knew the other person's identity immediately. After all, Hao Yun had compiled all the opponent's information before the game. Senior Ma Long, why am I so arrogant? Isn't it just a leapfrog challenge? This is not arrogant. You just get used to it. Just get used to it. Listen, is this what people say? 
Ma Long snorted coldly and stopped talking nonsense to Su Ju. He had already decided to educate Su Ju. Under the ring, Jia Yunnan looked at Hao Yun and said, Coach, the opponent sent Ma Long, Xiao Ju is in danger. Hao Yun nodded and said, Well, now it depends on Ma Long's summoning speed, but if Su Ju can defeat Ma Long, then the next game will be easy to handle. Jia Yunnan hummed and looked at the competition on the ring expectantly. Likewise, the entire stadium audience wanted to see if Su Ju's tactics were effective against second graders. Wang Jipping glanced at Zhang Shan and coldly snorted, I hope you can smile so happily again soon. Zhang Shan said disdainfully, Let's see, as the saying goes, one trick can be eaten all over the world, maybe this kid can give you Q second graders a bunch of ten. Yeah, I'm excited just thinking about it. Ha, huh, dreaming, you are simply wishful thinking. Zhang Shan didn't say anything. It didn't matter whether Su Ju could give the opponent a second year score. What was important was that Zhu Yu was stable in today's game. Soon one minute was over and the referee saw that the two people on the field were ready. Game, start. As the referee finished speaking, Ma Long immediately began to summon the natal beast. After all, the natal beast can be summoned the fastest. Su Ju immediately used the strongest combination of B-level Charge Blast, B-level Lightning Step, and A-level Shadowless Kick. Ma Long's summoning speed was indeed not slow at the first time, even a little faster than Chen Yang. He completed the summoning in 0.7 seconds. The moment the audience saw Ma Long summoning the pet beast, they knew that Su Ju had lost. The moment Wang Zhiping saw the appearance of Ma Long's natal beast, his originally worried heart relaxed. The same was true for Coach Kiyu. Ma Long did not let him down, and the corners of his mouth could not help but raise slightly. Boy, let's see if you can still hold back now. On the ring. Su Ju didn't care about Ma Long's natal beast at all. He only had one goal, and that was Ma Long himself. Bang. The A-level shadowless kick kicked Ma Long firmly in the chest, causing Ma Long to retreat continuously. Ma Long did have a chance to avoid being directly kicked off the ring by Su Ju due to the strength of the Platinum Level 9 stars. Big Bear, shoot it. Ma Long's natal beast is an S-level Earth Bear, which is stronger than Chen Yang's Tarzan Ape. Su Ju, on the other hand, didn't care about so much and just stared at Ma Long playing alone. Bang, bang, two consecutive kicks have forced Ma Long to the edge of the ring. At this time, the Earth Bear's attack had arrived, and it slapped Su Ju hard. Just when everyone thought Su Ju would avoid it, an unexpected scene appeared. Su Ju had no intention of evading at all, and relied on his body to withstand the Earth Bear's attack. At the same time, Su Ju used his shadowless kick again and kicked Ma Long firmly in the chest, completely kicking him off the ring. When the Earth Bear saw its master falling from the ring, he did not stop attacking and slapped Su Ju with another palm. Before Su Ju could fight back, the palm was blocked by the referee. Su Ju, the first grader of Juyu, successfully challenged the level. Hearing the referee announcing that Su Ju's challenge was successful, the stadium immediately burst into excitement. No, this Su Ju is so powerful, he actually eliminated Ma Long, the number one person in the second grade of Kiyu, with this move. I feel aggrieved. Ma Long must be extremely aggrieved at this moment. He was eliminated without fully exerting his strength. I guess Su Ju is not having a good time at this time. That's an earth bear with a higher level than him. Yeah, look, the corner of Su Ju's mouth is bleeding. He must have suffered serious internal injuries. Su Ju can be said to have become a god in one battle. As far as this tactic is concerned, if the rules are not modified, there is simply no solution. That's right. But now that the inter-school league has started, we can only change the rules next year. The referee on the ring looked at Su Ju and said, Classmate Su Ju, how are you injured? Su Ju shook his head and said, This injury can't do anything to me. Referee, I apply to continue the leapfrog challenge. Hearing that Su Ju wanted to fight, Q Principal Wang Zhiping looked at Zhang Shan and said, Are you students willing to die? Zhang Shan is very aware of the physical strength of his apprentice. An ordinary person would definitely have to lie down for a week. But his disciples' physical strength is terrifying. The Earth Bear's attack was indeed powerful, but it was still impossible to make Su Ju lose his combat effectiveness. It's okay, don't worry about him, I know it well. 
Wang Jiping wanted to scold his mother. Am I worried about his injury? I am worried that he will really give me a second grade 10. If this kid really completes a string of 10 in the leapfrog challenge, then his own Qiu will definitely create the worst record in history. Coach Qiu snorted coldly and said to another student, Zhu Ling, you're in charge of this one, don't let him continue to challenge. Yes, coach. A girl responded and walked quickly onto the ring, not wanting to give Su Ju too much time to recover his soul power. Zhu Ling looked at Su Ju and said, this move of yours is very interesting, but it's a pity that your winning streak will be terminated. Su Ju wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth and said, don't think that I will hold back on a girl. Humph, no need. Yes, I remember it. Zhu Ling really wanted to say something to make me remember. What do you mean by this? One minute ended quickly. When the referee saw that both people were ready, he said, the game begins. After the referee finished speaking, Zhu Ling waved her hand and began to summon her natal beast. Her realm is no lower than Ma Long. She is also a nine-star platinum realm, and the corresponding summoning speed is also not slow. After the referee announced the start, Su Ju once again used the strongest combination and kicked Zhu Ling in the face. Bang! Zhu Ling was kicked by Su Ju and her head felt dizzy. Fortunately, her summoning had been completed at this time, and Tian Yuying, who also had S-level potential, grabbed Su Ju with his claws. Su Ju, on the other hand, did not dodge or avoid, but only greeted Zhu Ling on her face. Bang bang bang! He kicked Zhu Ling three times in the face without giving her a chance to dodge. At the same time, Tian Yuying grabbed Su Ju's right arm with a claw, and the sharp claws left deep blood grooves on it. Su Ju ignored the severe pain in his right arm and kicked Zhu Ling in the face again, turning around to avoid another attack from Tian Yuying. Zhu Ling has completely lost her command at this moment. The only thought in her head is, will my mother be disfigured? After Su Ju dodged Tian Yuying's claw, he turned around again and kicked Zhu Ling in the chest, knocking her to the edge of the ring. Tian Yuying attacked Su Ju again, trying to capture this evil man. Seeing that he couldn't avoid it this time, Su Ju raised his foot to fight with Tian Yuying. After all, the Sky Feather Eagle is a platinum level 9 star pet beast. This claw once again left several blood grooves on Su Ju's left leg. And Su Ju successfully kicked Tian Yuying on the head, making it a little dizzy. What Sky Feather Eagle is good at is speed and attack power, but its defense power is not as good as that of ordinary platinum level 9 star pet beasts. Su Ju ignored the injury on his leg and kicked out another shadowless kick, hitting Tian Yuying's head. Bang! Being hit by the shadowless kick twice in a row, even if it was a platinum level 9 star beast, it would still feel uncomfortable at this moment. Su Ju also lost his temper at this time, and he had never suffered such a serious injury until now. While Tian Yuying was slightly confused, he hit Tian Yuying's head with two more A-level shadowless kicks. Bang bang! Tian Yuying was attacked continuously, and they were still in the same part. Like Zhu Ling, she was completely knocked out. Su Ju knew that now was not the time to hunt the Sky Feather Eagle, the competition was the most important thing. Lightning Step came to Zhu Ling and used the shadowless kick three times in a row, all of which kicked Zhu Ling in the chest, completely kicking her off the ring. At this time, after a brief battle between Su Ju and Tian Yuying, Zhu Ling had recovered a little of her sanity. But at this moment, I suddenly felt a pain in my chest, and I was kicked off the stage. Zhu Ling felt the pain in her chest, and her only reaction was, could she have been kicked smaller? Depend on, feeling Su Ju, a fool, kicking the same place continuously, Zhu Ling had the desire to kill. It's over, one big and one small. When Tian Yuying came to his senses and wanted to attack Su Ju again, he was intercepted by the referee. Nine Imperial Su Ju's level challenge was successful. As the referee announced the result of the game, the audience was excited. If Su Ju was still opportunistic and taking advantage of loopholes in the rules before. Now, with his super strong body and his recent record, no one dares to speak against Su Ju Kai anymore. Are you sure this is really a human body? How did this kid grow? So manly. If you find a boyfriend like this, he must be very powerful. I wonder if Su Ju has a girlfriend. It's too cruel. It's over. My goddess Ling must have been kicked to pieces by him. Can't you kick her on the other side? 
Ja Yunin in the stands couldn't help but cover her chest when she saw Su Ju's kicks just now. Even though she was not the one who was kicked, she could still feel the pain of being kicked. How could Su Ju be like this? Don't you know the principle of equal exposure to rain and dew? You have made one big and one small, what will Zhu Ling do next? Furthermore, Zhu Ling must be swollen into a pig's head now, right? Ha, huh, how pitiful. Su Ju stood on the ring, his arms and legs still bleeding, obviously he had been seriously injured just now. The referee looked at Su Ju with an obvious meaning and asked him if he needed treatment. Su Ju knew that if he chose treatment at this time, he would be deemed to have given up the challenge automatically. This was not the result he wanted. He looked at the referee and said, Referee, I apply to continue the challenge. What? When the audience heard Su Ju's words, they all became excited again. In their opinion, Su Ju was already injured so much that there was really no point in continuing the challenge. Su Ju had already proved his strength with his actions just now. Even Hao Yun couldn't help but frown, feeling that Su Ju had done enough. He has continuously skipped level challenges, and is still the first and second ranked student in the second grade of Q. There is really no need for him to work so hard. But seeing Su Ju's determined eyes, Hao Yun did not stop Su Ju from continuing to challenge. Coach Q's face was gloomy, and he snorted coldly. Min Dong, you are going to fight in this match. That Su Ju doesn't have much soul power anymore. Even if you can't beat him, you must try to consume his soul power as much as possible. Min Dong, who was called, nodded, stood up and walked towards the ring. Min Dong looked at Su Ju and said, I don't know the meaning of you continuing to challenge like this. Su Ju smiled slightly and said, It's nothing, I just want to see where my limits are. People, you always have to push yourself, so that you can see how much potential you have. Min Dong shook his head and had no intention of continuing to provoke Su Ju. In the head-on battle with Ma Ling just now, even he had to admire Su Ju's strength. Although Su Ju didn't use a pet beast, he couldn't say the same thing about Su Ju Kai. One minute passed quickly. When the referee saw that both people were ready, he said, the game begins. As the referee finished speaking, the two people began to summon the beast at the same time. Everyone was surprised when they saw this scene, thinking that Su Ju would choose to use martial arts to eliminate Min Dong. But he never thought that this time Su Ju changed his tactics and chose to summon a pet beast. But that's okay, everyone has seen Su Ju's personal strength before, and now they can finally watch a serious beast control competition. Min Dong was also stunned, thinking that Su Ju would continue to use martial arts. But that's fine, I'm not afraid of Su Ju in the Upright Beastmaster competition. Da Wang was summoned immediately, and Su Ju's summoning speed was not slow. This summoned pet beast is not only related to the realm, but also closely related to the tacit understanding between the pet beasts. And Rhubarb is 100% loyal, so the speed of summoning is naturally not slow. After Rhubarb came out, Kui Niu was summoned again. At this time, Min Dong on the opposite side had also completed two summons. Su Ju did not choose to attack but merged with Kui Niu. Then a one-legged Torin appeared on the ring. The moment the combination was completed, Su Ju handed over the fighting authority to Kui Niu. And using the spiritual contract, Da Wang assisted Kui Niu in attacking. When the audience saw that Su Ju's natal animal was the Chinese pastoral dog, they also understood why he chose martial arts to fight. At this time, Min Dong has completed the third summons and is in the process of the fourth summons. As an eighth star in the Platinum Realm, he has four pet beasts. Mu, Kui Niu barked, immediately interrupting Min Dong's summons. And this roar of Kui Niu directly caused one of the three pets on the opposite side to fall into a dazed state. Da Wang quickly executed the order given to him by Su Ju and jumped out with a single jump. Rhubarb's speed is not slow, even if it doesn't have energy-charged explosions or lightning steps. But Da Wang has four legs and is naturally faster than Su Ju. At this time, one of the three favorites on the opposite side was still in a dazed state. Da Wang hit Min Dong with a collision, knocking him to the edge of the ring. When all the viewers saw this scene, they were all sweating for Min Dong. At the same time, I was also shocked at how the Chinese pastoral dog had the ability to hit, and the impact was so powerful. Furthermore, isn't this a Chinese pastoral dog? 
How can it run so fast? Da Wang succeeded with one blow and used the impact skill again, knocking Mindong directly into the ring. From the time Da Wang took action to the end of the battle, the whole process took less than three seconds, and Mindong had already fallen into the ring. At this time, Mindong and his pet beast were still in a dazed state, which showed how powerful Kui Niu's voice was. When the referee saw this scene, he quickly announced that Su Ju had won the game. Countless spectators in the stands were shocked when they saw this scene. I always thought that Su Ju could reach this point only by relying on his martial arts skills and loopholes in the rules. But I never thought that his real strength was so strong. Not to mention others, even Su Ju himself did not expect that the battle would end so quickly. After all, he had never fought anyone in this form before, so he didn't know that Kui Niu Roar was so awesome. I don't know why my own rhubarb is so powerful. The speed is really not much slower than myself, and the impact is also quite powerful. Is this the benefit of opening more than 300 acupoints? Otherwise, how could such a result be achieved? The whole process took less than 10 seconds from start to finish, and Suju felt that he had regained his loneliness. The referee announced that the game was over, and Suju could not continue to fuse with Kui Niu, so he could only cancel the fused state. After releasing the combined state, Suju was surprised to find that although his soul power had not recovered much, his injuries were completely healed. Could it be said that this is the benefit of merging with a pet beast? Thinking about it this way, it seems that the fusion flow still has merits. Su Ju looked at the referee and said, Referee, I apply to continue the challenge. Hiss. Hearing Su Ju's words, Coach Kyu no longer looked ugly. Instead, he has a toothache. What does this kid mean? Does he still want to give his second year Kyu a string of ten? Even on the podium, Wang Zhiping's expression became strange, and he whispered to Zhang Shan beside him, Principal Zhang, it's almost done. Zhang Shan turned his head and said with a smile, It's a competition, we old guys don't want to participate. After all, this is a battle for young people. What a great fight between young people, you old guy doesn't follow the rules. Everyone hangs out in this area of the imperial capital. You don't know who you are when you raise your head, but you don't want to hang out anymore in the future. But as soon as this idea came up, I realized that this guy didn't seem to be in the education circle. They came off the battlefield and will definitely return to the battlefield in the future. Thinking about it this way, Wang Zhiping really couldn't do anything about it. Coach Kyu sighed and said to a student on the side, He Zhao, come on. Yes, coach. After He Zhao stood up, her face looked a little ugly. There was no way Ma Ling's tragic situation just now was vivid in her mind, and now Ma Ling was still wiping her tears. Thinking of the big and small shapes, He Zhao who felt a tightness in her chest. But now that the coach has called him on, he can only bite the bullet and step into the ring. Hiu, He Zhao, please give me some advice. Su Ju saw another girl, smiled slightly, and said, Guidance is not a big deal, let's make progress together. Then neither of the two people spoke, quietly waiting for the referee to announce the start. Game, start, bang, ah, this time, Su Ju did not summon a pet beast, but used martial arts again, hitting He Zhao's chest with a kick. Now that we have completed nine consecutive victories, the opponents we encounter are not as strong as the last, so there is no need to save soul power. Su Ju succeeded with one move, and then followed with two consecutive kicks, all of which accurately hit the opponent's chest. He Zhao was already panicking at this moment. She felt that she might have been kicked to death by Su Ju. Before Su Ju could continue his attack, he shouted, I surrender. Hearing He Zhao's announcement to admit defeat, Su Ju quickly stopped his next attack. He Zhao glared at Su Ju, covered her chest and went down. This guy is so useless, why he is taking care of him is simply unreasonable. Su Ju, on the other hand, had no such awareness, nor any other thoughts. The game is just a game. In his eyes, there are only opponents, not men and women. As the referee declared victory, Su Ju said, Referee, I apply to continue the challenge. Coach Q has now broken the pot. Things are already like this, how can it get worse? He immediately announced that he would give up the game so that Suju could challenge the third-year players. Suju is not a fool. Among the third-year team members, the strongest are probably in the Star Glory realm, right? 
his parents are in this realm, and he doesn't think he has the strength to challenge the Star Glory Realm now. Not to mention the Star Glory Realm, even the Diamond Realm can completely abuse oneself. As Kiyu gave up the next challenge, Su Juya ended the Leapfrog Challenge and returned to the rest area. Hao Yun patted Su Ju on the shoulder and said, Well, thank you for your hard work. Go down and have a good rest. Su Ju nodded and didn't say much. Instead, he felt what it would be like to have an area of 10 soul seas plus 10 while walking. Just when he came down from the ring, the rewards from the Tiandao reward system had been distributed. Su Ju could clearly feel that the area of his soul sea had increased a lot. This so called soul sea area plus 10 is not 10%. Just like physical strength plus 10, it has its own calculation method, and Su Ju doesn't understand it yet. But what is certain is that the area of this Soul Sea is plus 10, which is just 10% larger. As the area of the Soul Sea increased, Su Ju felt that his sustainable combat effectiveness had become much stronger. Now, if you use the strongest combination, you should be able to use it 30 times in a row. Using the A-level 72 whole shadowless feet alone can be used about 80 times, which is a lot improved. At this time, as Su Ju went down, the competition on the ring did not stop. It's just that Kyu was severely repaired by Su Ju just now, and his morale has dropped to the extreme. Ma Long, the number one player in the second grade, was okay and didn't lose much in combat effectiveness. However, Zhu Ling, the second grader in the second grade, was unable to enter the ring at this time due to pig head and one large and one small child. This is tantamount to making Qi Yu's side worse and giving Zhu Yu's side more room for combat deployment. In the end, only Malone won two games in the second grade, and the others all ended in failure. Jia Yunin looked at Su Zhu on the side and said, Xiao Zhu, the third grade competition is the main meal of the inter-school league. Take a good look at it, it will be of great help to you. Su Ju was no stranger to this and knew the meaning of Jia Yunin's words. Different from the group competition of first and second grade, the competition rules of third grade are very different from those of the previous two grades. Before Jia Yunin could explain to Su Ju, Hao Yun called her away and asked her to have her first battle in the third grade. Jia Yunin walked onto the ring. According to the score of the second grade in front, Zhu Yu's side had priority. Referee, I choose aerial combat. After hearing what Jia Yunin said, Kyu had three minutes to deploy the battle. Three minutes passed and a third year student from Kyu walked onto the ring. Then, under the leadership of the referee, the three people changed the playing field together. The venue for aerial battles is much larger than that for ring battles, and the distance between the two is also extended to 200 meters, giving both sides more room to display. Jia Yunin and the person opposite stood in their respective areas, waiting for the referee to announce the start of the game. The referee saw that both sides were ready and announced, the game begins. As soon as he finished speaking, Jia Yunin summoned his natal S-class Bingluin, and then jumped up onto Bingluin's back. Xiaobing charge, Bingluin got the order and rushed over with Jia Yunin immediately. At the same time, he waved his wings and two ice blades were launched. The student on the opposite side boarded his pet almost simultaneously with Jia Yunin and commanded the pet to avoid the attack from Bingluin. Jia Yunin ordered Bingluin to use his skills while summoning other pet beasts, who were also similar. Su Ju looked carefully in the rest area and saw two people fighting back and forth. He felt that this was a real battle between beast masters. There is no way to compare his fighting style with others. At this time, Jia Yunin had the upper hand, completely overwhelming the opponent and not giving the opponent a chance to breathe. Watching the competition in the ring, Su Ju felt that he really lacked a flying pet. For water battles, Kui Niu is enough. After all, this guy is amphibious. You can breathe freely in the water, your combat power is not reduced, and you can still avoid water. With Kui Niu at home, you don't have to worry about water fights, and your own rhubarb can also swim. Although the strength has weakened to some extent, it will not weaken too much. But if it was a dogfight, then he would have no temper at all and would only feel abused. If Zhu Ling is a fusion style, once she is completely fused before, there will be nothing she can do against them. A young finger, Su Ju didn't think that young finger could cause too much damage to the flying pet. Anyone with A-level shadowless feet can handle it, let alone AC-level 1 young finger. 
Just when Su Ju was thinking about this, the sound of the system sounded in his ears. Task. Challenge 100 consecutive victories by leapfrogging. Reward flying pet egg 1. Physical strength plus 5 0. Soul sea area plus 5 0. Random acupoints 10. Current task progress 10 1 hundredths. Um, this is really what you need, and the system of God's reward for hard work is so considerate. And the 10 challenges completed today are also recorded. I just don't know what level the flying pets rewarded by this system are. However, thinking that the products produced by the system must be high quality products, I believe that the system will not let me down. Is it just a leapfrog challenge to win 100 consecutive victories? Su Ju felt that this was a bit difficult. Others didn't know it, but he knew that Hua Xiaoman of the Imperial Capital's three Imperial Guards was in the Diamond Realm. The three emperors of the Imperial Capital are like this, what about the more powerful first emperor of the Imperial Capital? Su Ju narrowed his eyes and felt that this task was really difficult. If he failed once, he would not be able to complete it. At this time, Jia Yunin had already won the game and successfully defeated his opponent in the arena. Jia Yunin did not stay on the court and came back after winning one game. According to the rules of the competition, third graders who win the competition can continue to participate in the next competition. There is no provision for continuous battles. In the next game, it was Q's turn to choose the method of competition. A third year Q student stepped onto the ring and chose water fighting. Hao Yun also quickly sent a team member to challenge. The venue for the water fight is a huge transparent swimming pool suspended in the air, making it easy for everyone to watch the game. This was the first time for Su Ju to watch a water fight in the arena, and he lamented that it was only games for third graders and above that were called dinner. Whether it was the air battle just now or the water battle now, Su Ju sighed that he had gained a lot of experience. After Jia Yunin came back, he sat back in his seat, looked at Su Ju and said, How are you? Do you feel anything? Su Ju nodded and said, Sister Nan's natal beast is so beautiful. And Sister Nan, are you from the air combat department? Jia Yunin nodded and said, Well, all my pet beasts are prepared for air combat, and they are also planning to join the air force after graduation. What are your plans, ah? Jia Yunin felt that she had asked a very stupid question. Su Ju was only in the first grade and it was too early to consider this now. Su Ju smiled slightly and said, I plan to contract each pet beast with this one for all round development. Jia Yunin nodded and didn't say there was anything wrong with Su Ju's choice. After all, there are various schools in the world of beast control, and my aerial combat style is a partial school. But for the Air Force, the air combat school is orthodox. Su Ju belongs to the warrior family, and there is nothing wrong with developing in an all round way. After all, you can only fuse with one pet beast when merging, and most warrior types are fully developed. Su Ju thought of a pet beast. It would be great if he had a Chinese dragon. That's a hexagonal warrior who can fly into the sky, escape from the ground, and go into the sea. I don't know if there is such a war pet in this world of beast control. The third grade games were played one after another, including air battles and water battles. Su Ju saw them all. When I saw the land battle, I found that the battlefield had also changed a lot. The two sides were not in the arena, but had a special arena. After watching the third grade game, it's not interesting at all to go back and watch the first and second grade games. When the fourth grade came on stage, the fierce battle in Chengdu reached a new level. Sister Nan, I discovered something. Ha, huh, Xiaoju, what's the matter? Su Ju asked. Sister Nan, I just took a look and it turns out that the third grade students are all in the Star Glory Realm. Why are they still in the Star Glory Realm in the fourth grade? Logically speaking, shouldn't they be in the King Realm? Jia Yunin chuckled and said, Do you think it's so easy to break through the Realm of Kings? Um, Su Ju looked at Jia Yunin in confusion, not understanding what she meant. Jia Yunin explained to him, This Star Glory Realm is a hurdle. Many people enter the Star Glory Realm in the third grade, but they do not break through to the King Realm until graduation. Even people with strong family resources can enter the Star Realm in the second semester of the second grade, but it is very difficult to graduate and enter the King Realm. That's why I said just now that the Star Glory Realm is a hurdle. If you can cross it and become the King Realm, you will be a high-level beast master. Su Ju nodded. 
he knew that in the world of beast masters, bronze, silver, and gold realms were divided into low-level beast masters. The three realms of platinum, diamond, and starshine are collectively referred to as intermediate beast masters. After the king's realm comes the senior beast master. Those who can reach the king's realm have their own right to speak no matter where they are. However, in the legendary realm, it is no problem at all to say that one is a master, and one enjoys great rights in the beast controlling world. As for the final title level, they are already the top group of people in the pyramid, and every one of them is a big shot who can appear on TV. Jia Yunnan continued. Xiao Ju, have you noticed that although we are in the Star Glory Realm in the third grade, we are all in the early stage of the Star Glory Realm? If you take a closer look at the fourth grade students, they are all nine stars in the Star Glory Realm. There is no one who is not. Quote, after Jia Yunnan's reminder, Su Ju couldn't help but nodded, and then asked, Sister Nan, is there no one who can break through to the king's realm in the fourth grade? Jia Yunnan nodded and said, Yes, as far as I know, there is one person from the first, second, and third emperors of the imperial capital who has entered the realm of kings, and these are also national team players. Su Ju nodded and sighed, I didn't expect so few. Jia Yunnan shook her head and said, It's quite a lot. If I remember correctly, only two fourth-year students in the imperial capital entered the realm of kings last year. Su Ju felt that he had a system and would definitely be able to enter the realm of kings by the fourth grade. Maybe he can also represent the Dragon Kingdom in the World Series. All today's battles ended at around 4 o'clock in the afternoon. In the end, Imperial City 9 regions temporarily ranked first among the 16 teams with a score of 63 points. As soon as such results came out, it immediately attracted the attention of other schools. Later, they all learned that a super fierce man came from the nine regions of the imperial capital. He not only completed a string of five in the first grade. In the next leapfrog battle, a string of ten came to the Kiyu of the imperial capital. Su Ju's name was also mentioned by more and more people, and the battle videos were taken away by other teams for study. When they saw Su Ju's abnormal martial arts combination, all participating teams were stunned. Before, they said that being able to complete a string of 15 by Su Ju meant that the Kiyu of the imperial capital were too rubbish. But when they saw Su Ju's battle video, all of them were completely paralyzed. Is there no way to fight this at all? Who wouldn't be confused when encountering it? Schools with diamond level in the second grade are doing better, but teams without diamond level are completely confused. To put it bluntly, there is no way to win this game, and this tactic is completely unsolvable at the moment. Even those schools with diamond level second graders feel their heads are aching. They can handle the second grade, but what about the first grade? First year students enter the diamond realm. What a joke. Organizing committee. The principals of 16 schools gathered at the organizing committee to discuss the Suju battle. Zhang Shan looked at the other 15 principals and members of the organizing committee and said, I agree with the modification of the competition rules. Beast masters must look like beast masters. However, according to the competition rules, if the rules are modified now, it is necessary to it won't take effect until the next term. Chi Bin, the principal of Yiyu, smiled slightly and said, Ha ha, as long as we agree to the modification, I think it will take effect for this term. Yes, yes, Principal Chi is right, I, Sanyu, agree. My second emperor also agrees. Sayu. Zhang Shan looked at these people, smiled slightly, and said, Rules are rules, and we, the makers, must also abide by the rules, otherwise the rules will be useless, right, President. Gong Song, chairman of the organizing committee, nodded and said, Principal Zhang is right, these rules are rules, and we must abide by the rules. After hearing what Gong Song said, the other 15 principals immediately stopped working. The first graders couldn't defend against Su Ju's tactics at all, and they were absolutely unsolvable tactics at the moment. Gong Song saw several principals protesting there and said with a majestic look, Everyone, please stay calm. After hearing Gong Song's warning, the principals all calmed down. This person was in the title realm, and they couldn't do anything wrong. Seeing that these people stopped talking, Gong Song said, the minister personally gave instructions before that such rules do not need to be modified. If you think it is unfair, you can copy such tactics. Hiss. 
The principals present here all took a deep breath when they heard Gong Song's words. They knew that the minister they were talking about was not the minister of education in the imperial capital. He is the minister of education of the whole country, a properly titled nine-star boss. They didn't expect that such a trivial matter would alarm such a big shot. Now that the big guys have spoken, they can only give up their request to modify the rules. Zhang Shan was also confused. He did not expect that the Minister of Education would not agree to change the rules. Then, this becomes interesting. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.